The chase for the coveted purple jacket is underway. Welcome to the Poker Masters, coming to you from the oh so beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Join us at the Poker Go Studio, getting you set for final table coverage of event number one. Welcome to the break desk. He is Brent Hanks. I am Jeff Platt. We are here, my friend. We're back. We have made it to another Poker Masters. There's something to be said about the prestige of this series, I would say. It's really one of the most talked about high roller series of the year, particularly when it comes from the players. Yeah. The coveted jacket, the prize money on top. There's just something special about this series, and you can sort of feel it in the air here. You mentioned the prize money. Let's take a look at this series format. 12 events for the 2021 Poker Masters. Seven at the 10K price point. We're playing No Limit Hold'em, Pot Limit Omaha, and Eight Game Mix. And then we ramp it up to 25K to 50K, and we wrap it up with a $100,000 buy-in main event. The winner receives $50,000 and that purple jacket. So a lot of money at stake and a lot of points at stake for this. The Poker Go Tour, it is presented by Guaranteed Rate. Here's a look at our top five. Ali Amshurovich with 10, 10 wins on the Poker Go Tour. He is in first. Sean Perry has five wins, bubbled the final table, finished in eighth. We almost got a taste of Sean Perry, Sam Savarro, Kerry Katz, and Sean Winner round out the top five. Is this race over? Look at the lead that Ali has. Yeah, I mean, Ali clearly way out in front. Yeah. But I'm not even looking, Jeff, at that top five. I'm going a notch below. Ooh. Look at number six. Happens to be our chip leader today, David Peters. The man is on a mission. He's on an outright heater right now, coming off a final table at Super High Roller Bowl Europe. All eyes on Peters. And Peters, with a win, would move to just 17 points back of winter for fifth. So that sets the scene for this. A look at our final table for event number one, the $10,000 buy-in. And Brent, you said it, Peters does lead, does lead the way. He's got more than 2.2 million in chips. Brock Wilson in second. Shannon Shore is third. Those three right next to each other. Jonathan Jaffe, Dylan DeStefano, John Reardon, Ben Yu, the short stack round out our final table. And Brett, you said it about David Peters, a fifth place finish at Super High Roller Bowl Europe, second place finish at the Super High Roller Series 100K, the winner of the 2019 and the 2021 U.S. Poker Open. Is he the odds on favorite to secure that purple jacket? Well, I mean, yeah, clearly chip leader right now, event number one, I would say he's the odds on favorite, although it doesn't really mean anything quite yet. But I'm a believer in the momentum factor. Take a look at his results from these U.S. Poker Open results. The guy is just on a serious heater, Jeff. It's never ending. He is now sixth on the all-time money list. That was an exciting heads-up match against Jared Jaffe. Oh, today. the big tuna. How many Jaffes are there in poker? We got Jonathan Jaffe, the uh, dolphin trainer, at this <laughs> final table here today. You mentioned David Peters. Yeah. Sixth all-time on the money list. Yeah. Let me throw another stat at you. Okay. When it comes to the Poker Go Tour, although he's in sixth place right now in the standings, He's actually second oh. with winnings thus far in 2021. Interesting. More than $200,000 up top in this one. Let's get to the booth, yeah? But Come first, on, baby, let's but go. first, yeah? you know what I'm a little is. thirsty. Yeah. Jeff. Oh, and I could use Oh, how think convenient. Drink. Oh, yeah. Mm. Smarter than energy. Mm. There it is. All right, here we go. Final table coverage oh. of event number one of the Poker Masters starts right now. Oh. Mm. One of the most coveted prizes in poker awaits the winner of one of the most prestigious series in the game today. This is the Poker Masters. Welcome to Las Vegas and the Poker Go Studio for final table coverage of event number one. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks in the broadcast booth as we kick off the race for the purple jacket. And Brent, no surprise, in a series that draws the best of the best, that our chip leader today is David Peters. Perhaps already a master's moment mm. for this major winner, David Peters. A slight chip lead over the field, as you can see. Ben Yu at the bottom, a lot of work to do today. Plenty of competition for Peters to get through. As we do look at the leaderboard, it is presented by Zenny Eyewear for Everyone. Peters, the winner of the U.S. Poker Open in 2019, the winner of the U.S. Poker Open in 2021, came oh so close to Ali Amshurovich for the 2018 Purple Jacket. Taking a look at the tournament format, a $10,000 buy-in, 82 entries, creating a prize pool of $820,000. There's a look at our final seven. David Peters, Brock Wilson, Shannon Shore, Jonathan Jaffe, Dylan DeStefano, John Reardon, 
and Ben Yu. Look at the payouts. Our final seven guaranteed $41,000. 12 spots paid in this one. And Brent, the final table bubble, Sean Perry. We just missed out on a little Sean Perry here today. That would have been a lot of table talk with Perry, no doubt about it. Eyes on the money, of course, that purple jacket. Just a beautiful, beautiful prize. Still have a little bit of time left at this level. 20K, 40K with a 40K big blind ante underway. And we start with Shannon Shore in the cutoff with King Jack. 100,000. It's off to a quick start. Peters, Wilson, Shore around that 50 big blind mark. Love seeing Shannon Shore at a major final table here inside the studio. Been around a long time. Great success the World Poker Tour, World Series. I'm really going to wait longer than I play. Now like about this, right off the bat, too. Ben Yu. All in and call. All in and at risk with the ace nine against Shores King Jack. Everyone at the table except for David Pierce is really against Ben Yu here. <laughs> yeah, should be trading. It was about an $8,000 pay jump. Pete's is rooting for me. He wants to punish you all longer. <laughs> wow. wow, and how did Brock lay down ace king there? <laughs> <laughs> Reardon's doing our job for us. It's great. <laughs> Here we go right off the bat. King at 9 8. Yu does have the ace of diamonds, but Shore takes the lead on that flop. They really make you sweat. They do. For now, you needing an ace or a nine. Let's not find it on the turn. Every one of the tables is rooting for no ace or nine. <laughs> I bounce to see him on top of your screen. River's a four. Good yeah. game, guys. Yeah. That'll do Enjoy. it for Ben Yu. Oh. Short stay. We well, didn't waste any time. Mr. Yu, he'll hop in event number two, no doubt about it. Decent start. Little payday, yeah. final table. Absolute <clears throat> class act. Out in seventh, $41,000. <laughs> I start for Shannon Shore. Everyone pretty even in chip. Shannon now with a little chip lead over David Peters. Short stack, John Reardon. 24 big blinds, yeah. Jeff. He's got plenty of fight. More than 250 bigs on the table. Plenty deep at this point. And now our final six is short of $49,200. Good up swing, Shannon. Yes, yeah, sure. sure the last. <laughs> <laughs> Position for sure on Peter's left. Raises it up with this the A7. This guy's knocked out players on his last two hands play. Just want to let you guys know. Okay. Trying, 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 trying to get three. Get three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dylan. Yeah, Dylan. <laughs> I'm trembling right now. Shore did bust Sean Perry on the final table bubble last night with Queens so against Perry's then. eights. I can't. I can't do it. Wow, and Brog with a curious Ace Ten suited. Way down there. Shore collects more chips. <laughs> He's got himself a busy fall. Baby daughter on the way, end of November. Congratulations to the Shore dominated. family. <laughs> I don't know how to like hold these cards. Like they're so. They are. They are, are. They are tough. Tight. Tight. There we go. 82 entries in this one. 12 made the money. Thanks, sir. Been you in seventh. Sean Perry eliminated in Please. eighth. Nidus Udornpo. Out in ninth, Jim Colby eliminated in 10th. Mitchell Halverson out in 11th. Yeah, Darren Elias made the money. Two. Oh, my. Yeah. Out in 12th and Shore now looks down at How two kings. How are you guys marking the cards so fast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really good. It's just started. 52 hands in, we're not going to have a deck left. Blue chips worth 5K, purple chips 25K apiece. Dylan DeStefano, first time we've seen him at one of our Poker Go Major final tables. Looks down at the ace, seven of diamonds in the small blind. Not good so far, Brock. Not right better than Ben Yu. Yeah, it's true. that guy doing? Are you just going to win every hand at this point? <laughs> what? Off to a command. Oops. Lead. Setting the pace. Well, really is. Shannon's three for three. More than $8.7 million in career Dude, live tournament earnings. trembling to see why. Chip was very short lived. <laughs> 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 Mark, Mark. Yeah. David did it. 
It looks like the top one on there. You did it and spotted it. You can kind of see them. See the chips you can and nominations see on that. presented by Nerd Focus. Like throw people off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of the time. Five Ks, purple 25 Ks. Should have marked a four or something, and then they, we would have thought it was an accident. <laughs> There's the stack of our chip leader. Love the friendly table talk amongst this group. It's truly is a tight knit community. These you know when you had a high deuce rollers, deck good commerce, friends. Because like the deuces and sevens were like ripped in half. It's like what is that? Like what is going on? In this? Especially Shore, Peters, and, and Jaffe, right? They go way back. Way back years online poker. Brock Wilson's. Certainly the young gun uh -huh. at this final table. These guys have been around the block as far as online. Made their mark million. in the live poker Nine world. 90. World Series of Poker. Yeah. And now Short on the second. Poker Go Tour, presented by Guaranteed Rate. Here at event number one, Poker Masters final table. Trying to make their mark for that purple jacket. That purple jacket is accompanied by $50,000 in cash. The overall winner of the series and short now with the ace jack of diamonds. This is <laughs> ridiculous. Four straight hands. Here we go. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jesus. The answer to that is yes. Wilson with eights. Starts to run through your head. Like, okay, is this guy just gonna open every pot? What's going on here? Yesterday I thought he was kind of tight. Today, just gonna min raise us to death free. Heads up to this flop. Heads up. Shore versus Wilson. It's queen six four one diamond. Couple back door draws for sure. Wilson's eights are best. Brock was getting needled a little bit before the final table started Second. in regards to his tight play. You sort of wonder if Shannon is assigning him that sort of range. These middling pocket pairs make a lot of sense. Even a hand as good as ace-queen, I think Brock would consider just flatting pre. Not sure Shannon will be done with it. We do have the backdoor flush draw. Gonna get a fine price. Maybe we peel once. Could we ever show a ridiculous sign of aggression and go for some sort of check raise on this sort of dry texture? He's just going to peel it. Call. Goes the check call route. Okay. Turns the five of spades. Check. Many turn cards to help shore that not being one of them. Check, check. River brings another four. 370K in the pot, as you see on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Brock may be a little concerned about nines, tens, or jacks. Check. He does check back, he'll show down the winner. Yeah, he's gonna be happy to see the sort of <coughs> holding he was up against. Nice little pot, kick things off for Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Mr. Wilson from New York, lives in Vegas now. Looking for his first Poker Go Tour win. That Poker Go Tour is presented by Guaranteed Rate. His ninth cash of the tour this year. There you see the biggest live cash of his career, more than $600,000 in 2019.
effectively a three-way tie for the chip lead. Shore, Wilson, and Peters. And a fall off before we see Jaffe, DeStefano, and Reardon. Pretty similar stacks across our bottom three. Jaffe will open on the button with the ace five of hearts. Love looking at a little suity connector like this, defending from the big blind. Oh, nine, six, four, all hearts. Jaffe flops the ace I flush. Check. Fortunately for Jaffe, I just don't think Shannon really has enough to continue. 50,000. Unless he thinks that a check raise could potentially win this pot a decent percentage of the time. With just a five high gut shot straight draw. Phew. You're getting the bigger, bigger. He'll be happy that. about that decision, Jeff. Jonathan Jaffe. Doesn't make it out here to the Poker Go studio too often. Doesn't like the cross country travel, lives in Florida. But make no mistake, he can compete with the best of the best. Oh, of course, been around a long time. Infamous online player. Cash games, tournaments, you name it. Time for Peters to get to work here on the button with 10 8. Goes two and a half X on the button. dynamic here for Peters with the two other big stacks to his left. And really Shore could have considered three betting the A7 off knowing that Peters probably somewhat active on this button considering how even these stacks are. It's just difficult. You know, you consider the amount of money on the line. John Reardon is so short around 24 bigs in comparison to the rest. Mm -hmm. oh. Wilson will defend with the king six. Eight, three, three. Check. Peter's the best of it. See event number two of the Poker Masters going on right now in the background. Sean Winter, Adam Hendricks. Two of the many in that 10K. Peters fires. Wilson says no thanks. David Peters wins his first pot of the day. And what a year it has been for David Peters. Really has been. Goes back to back in the U.S. Poker Open. Another major title. Took home the Golden Eagle. Just came off of a final table at Super High Roller Bowl Europe. And now here he is with, once again, the chip lead of event number one at the Masters. Won the main event of the Poker Masters in 2018 and the opening event that year as well. Finished 10 points. Behind yeah, Ali Amshurovich for the sorry. Purple Jacket. What a race that was. Yeah. Right down to the wire. We talked to him before play. He said that's, that's on his mind, finishing that short of such a prestigious prize. Shore opens here with Ace Queen. Jack 10 of Diamonds. That's what Wilson looks down at in the small blind. Blinds have gone up 25K, 50K. 50K big blind ante.
Ten seconds. Call. Hard to see, but that's John Reardon <laughs> under the mask, the hat, and yeah. the hoodie. <laughs> Looks down at Ace Eight. With about twenty bigs. Pretty awkward. To start the hand. Awkward hand. Awkward stack sizing. Have to be concerned about well, the small blind flat. He says the heck with it. <laughs> Extremely aggressive all in. I think because Shannon Shore has opened so many pots at the start of this final table, he thinks that he can slide one through with Ace 8, but Shannon has the goods. One second. All in. All in. Wilson out of the way, and here we go. John Reardon all in and at risk. <laughs> with ace eight Oops. against Shannon Shore's <laughs> ace queen. Maybe, still five to come. Shore the favorite to take gonna it. tell me I made a mistake. Significant <laughs> chip <laughs> lead. Not the first time. <laughs> My family would look up Shannon's address. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why you go all in with ace eight? I know. <laughs> he opened. That's eight why. in the window. Mm -hmm. It's eight, seven, five. Shore now looking for a queen. Did I make a mistake, Bob? And oh, turns the queen! Reardon yeah. down to two outs. See him on top of your screen. Needs an eight to stay alive. Doesn't find it. It's another queen. We say good game Amen. to John Reardon. Shannon fucking Shore. Out in sixth place for $49,200. Nine and four elimination. <laughs> <laughs> John Reardon really is a it's tremendous that under your name. player. And it just looks a, like Shannon Shore. <laughs> Jeff, he didn't seem to say much at the table when we had him around for the U.S. Poker Open, and then he sort of came out of his shell. Yeah, He's got a down. great again. personality. <clears throat> again, that's small. Am I allowed to move? A very vibrant so like presence. Uh, I'm used to seeing the pink hoodie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Flamingo style. And he really enjoys playing here. He, he enjoys competing against the best of the best throughout all games. And readily admits, like, you know, a lot of these guys are better than me. But I'm here to fight, I'm here to compete, I'm here to battle. You know, I hear that a lot from players. That they just seem to say, oh, yeah, I'm not very good. These guys are all better than me. But it's sort of just remaining humble, right? Yeah, I, I think truly he earlier. believes he's good. Sure. You're going to call, like and that's his said, way uh, of deflecting, especially when you interview him, Jeff. Or you say people do that in general. <laughs> Might have been the other John. You know another John? Graveyard John. He's not here anymore. Graveyard. As we see Jaffe get busy with it, it reminds me, I think Sean Perry is the only player on the Poker Go Tour that outright says he's the best. <laughs> right. <laughs> over and over again. Perry finished eighth in this tournament for $32,800 on the board at the Poker Masters. King 3-3. Three, three. How about this for Dylan DeStefano? Flops trips. Jaffe flops a dangerous king. Of hearts. Tremendous check back for a variety of reasons. One, we're hidden, well disguised with that king. And that flop, it's, if you're unlucky and you're up against a three, it's sort of a way ahead or way behind scenario. C control your destiny, whether you're up against trips, potentially a flush draw. 300,000. I think Jaffe's thinking, well, I could just pick off a bunch of bluffs, but look at this. Slight over bet here by DeStefano. DeStefano might think, wow, he could check back a lot of those kings for the reasons I mentioned. Goes for max value on the turn. Ten seconds. Ten. 
Chappie will use a time extension, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. Call. Call. Certainly don't fault him for calling here. Stefano could have some sort of heart combo draw, trying to overbet the turn. Oh, and the river is the 10 of hearts. It's three's full for De Stefano. And perhaps a card that will now save Jaffe mm. from losing any more chips in this hand. One liner to a flush. King nine of clubs just shrivels up on this board. 10 seconds. Now the time bank used by De Stefano. It's the 23-year-old's first Poker Go Major final table. really now just deciding, well, would he ever have made this bet with a hand like 4-5 suited that did not contain a heart and now just be forced to go with it on the river? You just, it's not a ton of bluffs out there. 6-5, no heart, 4-5, no heart. Hold. Yeah, Jaffe does let it go. It's good for TV. Dylan Stefano. Take a look at his bio board presented by the Hendema. Out of Coastal Carolina. This marks his biggest career live score. Uh, I see. Crypto and NFTs. Mm -hmm. huh? Just sold some sort of rock for about six million. <laughs> when I met Dylan earlier, he's like, oh yeah, yeah, you're the guy with the pink punk? And I'm like, no, but if I was, that could be good for me, I'm guessing. Yeah. Peter's opens here with Ace Queen. Jackie looks down at the Bren Hanks. 100. A couple ducks. Oh, I love it. Just a couple mallards. Jaffe is our shortest stack with 20 bigs. Don't be afraid, Jaffe. No fear when the ducks are here. Call. Does flick in the call. Heads up. 994. Never lives as a flip, Jeff. <laughs> Watching great players, David Peters, this sort of texture, the 994, when we did in fact open with a hand like Ace Queen, what is the optimal line and why? Perhaps Jaffe being a little bit handcuffed with his stack size, started the hand with around 20 bigs. We can get away with that little min bet. Allows us to peel some more equity for cheap in the event that we are called. Consider checking back now and then getting to the river. I wonder how many players at home may just check that flop, 994, when we don't connect. Another check from Jaffe. Peters knows, well, I could be up against easily tripped nines, a fluffed four. A lot of those hands clearly never folding. There is that check back. Seven on the river. Jaffe's hand is best. 
And there is a world in which Jaffe could absolutely float without a pair on the 994 flop, hoping that Peters would check various turns, and then we could take it away on the river. But I think this, this line now suggests to David Peters that, yeah, Jonathan Jaffe has something at showdown. It's going to be a pair, and that's good. Jonathan Jaffe with more than $4.3 million in career tournament earnings. We'll take a look at some arrivals into the Poker Go studio. This man's been here before. Used to the walk-in. Here's Brock Wilson. Mr. Wilson. The young gun. Jonathan Jaffe in the mix. Dylan DeStefano, new oh. kid on the block. Uh-huh, bang, bang. Oh, yeah, reared him. Swag. Oh, there we go. Two good buddies, Ben Yu and Shannon Shore. They were never here. <laughs> Those are great. Little head bob for you there, Jeff. You were into those I tunes. like it. Like yeah. it. It's your Wonderful kind of stuff. Music. A lot like Celine Dion. Music was fire. Well, Celine is a little different. Well, faster tempo than Celine. Kind of range is Brock raising for Peters, like, fuck. <laughs> Strong one. We should ask Shannon. I think he'll know the answer. Or, not Shannon. Shannon's uh, on a different level. I don't want to uh, I want to get in that brain right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask Sean, then. Sean will know. Sean knows. Sean? Perry knows. So Perry, <laughs> Perry knows. I'm really, event I'm number one of the Poker him. Masters, a 12 oh, wait, event he says series. Max late regging these. He might not. No, be. he was here. Oh, wait, so, was? I saw him here. Oh, we max late regged yesterday. We start with seven. Events at the 10K price point, they moved to 25K, 50K, wrap things up with oh, a 100. Oh, I forgot, yeah, he said the turnout was so weak that $1,000 <laughs> <in> <laughs> <laughs> About 200 big blinds on the table. Stefano, 32 bigs to start this hand, opens with the A7 of diamonds. Shore seems to take an equal amount of time for every we decision also there. The Even Jack-5, I assumed, is an auto-fold. Just like these, uh, waited these are way three seconds, throws it in the muck. Or not the cloth mask, whatever these are. The Remains balanced with yeah. time. Is that a thing, Jeff? Absolutely. I think so. Absolutely. Timing tells. Shore with more than 3.1 million in chips. 65,600 six hundred dollars guaranteed to our final five a little bit more than a 16k pay jump from fifth to fourth up top two hundred five thousand dollars sure with ace five in the small blind king four of hearts for brock wilson It's easy to blast off when you call me a net. I wish I could have blasted off. Maybe I just had it. Yep. Not too worried. You don't look worried. Like a cornerback. What's in the past? In the past. <laughs> One play at a time. Why cornerback? Why can't a quarterback or a cornerback? Why cornerback specifically? Well, I've always heard it for them just because they have a real specific assignment. Right. Playing too much Both now. players here, Shannon with the ace high. And they feel like Brock. Worse, you know, and so you feel like you got high, Probably okay with this sort of texture. They <laughs> <laughs> like to just keep it very small and get the showdown. It's fast. Check. And you'll find out. Let's go check, check. Another three on the river. I think you'll say potentially what the fuck. Oh, I shouldn't swear. Uh, 
I think yeah. he can swear, Jeff. This hand isn't going to make the uh, <laughs> TV broadcast. <laughs> yeah. The blind versus blind battle with check, 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 and Go check, out on check. the limb. Yeah, he's going to get good. away with that one. We're yeah. safe on YouTube. Thank you all for joining us today on YouTube. And on Poker Go. Yeah, I love it. Poker Go subscribers right there. Thank you for joining us. Of course, our loyal fans on YouTube in the chat. Jeff and I are here with you. And you can follow us both on Twitter. Yes, He's you can. at Jeff Platt. I'm at Buffalo Hanks. Clubs for David Peters. Gate of diamonds in the big blind for De Stefano. Call. Heads up. Well, defense. Backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. Check. Can be said for both. David Peters, Brent, three to a royal. Oh boy. Jackpot hand, Jeff. Yeah. He should bet it. Jeff, he's, yeah, there we go. When you got a royal flush, <laughs> right. put the well, money in. Royal flush draw. Yeah, he's going to have it. Three to a royal. Is David Peters as hot as he's been running? That's true. There's never a doubt. Sizes up here. It goes half pot. Bono folds. David Peters, six on the leaderboard for the Poker Go Tour, presented by Guaranteed Rate. He stays in six no matter what happens at the end of the day, but if he wins, moves 17 points back of fifth. Also sixth on the all-time money list. Look at that, 300 tournament caches for On Peters. the nose. And a co-founder of... OTC trade. He's a businessman as yeah. well. Disco Dave does it all. Fifth place finish at Super High Roller Bowl Europe. And really had a chance to win that one. Yeah, he got extremely unlucky. Mm -hmm. The hands of Ivan Leo. 110. Also mentioned, yeah, he's sixth place on the Poker Go Tour leaderboard as far as overall standings. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to money one, he's second behind Ali and wow. Sherbis. With more than $2.9 million in earnings on the tour this year. All in. All in. Jaffe just says all of it with the A6. Wilson mucks the Queen Jack. Jonathan Jaffe's last tournament win came in January of 2020. <laughs> at the Lucky Hearts Poker Open, he won the 25K there. Proving he can compete at this high roller level. I think everybody knows he can compete. Also part of PokerCoaching.com, mm -hmm. a trainer on that tutorial site, alongside Jonathan Little and the gang. Told us he really enjoys coaching, perhaps more than playing nowadays. 115. Like seeing the game of his students develop. You ever think about maybe looking him Becoming up Becoming a coach? Becoming, <laughs> well. Oh, sorry, you meant getting coaching. You'd be great with like five year olds. <laughs> How many cards are Here in are the, the deck? Here are the rules. Here are the suits. I don't even think I'd do well at that. You're the former teacher. Yeah. yeah. It's a scary thought, isn't it? That is scary. 
look at Brock Wilson from New York, now lives here in Las Vegas. Ali Amshurovich, a friend and mentor. I wish he were my friend and mentor. Well, Liam Shervich, probably a good good guy to know. Speaking of coaches, huh? what do you think yeah. his hourly is? Past our budget. King Queen for Peters in the small blind. Call. Makes the call. Seven deuce rainbow. Peters, Shore, Wilson, DeStefano, Jaffe, our final five. I asked DeSefano before we started playing if he was intimidated by looking at David Peters across the table. He said, no, just consider him another player. There's no intimidation there whatsoever for the 23-year-old. Then again, probably easier to say that before you enter the arena. Show no fear today. Takes down that pot. DeStefano was telling the players yesterday that he was just a businessman, amateur, recreational, and you know what, Jeff? Nobody believed him. <laughs> right. Clearly quiet, knows how to play ball. Yeah. Certainly <laughs> carries himself <laughs> like a poker player in the hunt for that purple jacket that is awarded to the winner of the Poker Masters. If Nidus and Sean Perry made the F2, <laughs> much different atmosphere for sure. Home crowd's rooting for him. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan Sontimer won the Poker Masters in 2017. Ali Amshurovich received the purple jacket in 2018, barely beating out that man, David Peters. The 2019 Poker Masters was won by Sam Savro. You mentioned Sontimer, the goose. Yeah. He hasn't been seen since. No respect for Just the purple jacket. Just a hit and run with the purple jacket. Shore limps in with the ace four in the small blind. Wilson looks down at ace king, starting the hand with 40 pigs. Making it 175,000. Oh. This is where the sort of the power of yeah. ace high, blind on blind, shower, shore just does not want to relinquish the hand. Feels inclined to want to continue. Even though Brock does carry this sort of tight image alongside of him. As the chip leader, having 60 big blinds, a little bit more than that, Shannon Shore said, okay, well, I'm gonna peel. Check. Let's play ball. It goes check, check on the flaw. Seven of 
hearts on the turn. You sort of wonder if Shore is soaking it all in here, thinking, all right, what hands would he have Sorry. kicked it up with pre and then decided to check back flop? It is a pretty disastrous texture whenever you're holding ace king. 10, 5, 9, 7, two suits, none of which are in your hand. Sort of wonder if Shannon will be able to get away with it on the river. If he decides to turn time. this ace four into a bluff. Oftentimes you, you sort of see over bets in the spot where Shannon can represent all the ten. He's just gonna shut it down. Sort of surprised, maybe just thinks there's no way he can win this pot. Wilson will check back. Show us the winner. Surprising, Dylan. Did I raise king? Yeah, I didn't know why you would raise without a pair. That's true. New, is that new for you? Why would you ask me if it was surprising, not anyone else? You're the next closest to Sean here. Yeah. You seem the most uh, animated when it comes to uh, talking, my plays. <laughs> so, figured I'd ask for you. I think David's a close second. Hmm. Yeah, you aren't going to get much out of David Peters 100. throughout the course of the final table. Sam Sabro in the background, firing off in event number two. Oh. Heads up. Sort of surprised Sam didn't make that trip to Europe yeah. for the Super High Roller Bowl Series over there in northern Cyprus. Check. Nice to have him back in our studio. He literally just has to roll out of bed it's right here. to get here. He lives right next door. Shore bet, shore wins. Hit the music, Brent, because Poker After Dark is back oh. with a new season featuring today's biggest poker stars and celebrities. Watch Poker After Dark season 13 exclusively on Poker Go. Love this music, Jeff. Got some good episodes lined up. Oh huh? boy, do we ever. <laughs> Giving up already? opens here on the button. Here, Paul Campbell, tournament director, shouting out the orders. David, have you ever run out of time banks in any of these things? <laughs> like just been heads up and at zero time banks? Um, I don't think so. No, no okay. So Maybe you, like once or something. Okay. So you use them sparingly then. Or use them the opposite of sparingly. So he uses them sparingly. One fifteen. Oh, 
Nicholson opening here, holds around the Peters on the big blind with a seven. Jacket deuce to clubs. Wilson, the open ender. Backdoor flush draw, as we like to say. Three to the Royal. The good three. The good three. <laughs> the king, the queen, and the jack. The good three. Brock Wilson's ninth Poker Go Tour cash. Still looking for his first win on that tour. It is presented by Guaranteed Raid. Sitting in 21st in the standings going into today. So he'll break into at least the top 20. A win would move him up to 16th. And he has the ace deuce of hearts here. 8, 7 of clubs in the small blind. Oh. And Shore looking down at a pretty one in the big. Shannon just keeps getting these really great spots. With premium holdings, as the chip leader, it would be expected for him to squeeze and apply pressure a lot wider here. Uh, once again, just has a great hand being ace-queen. It's going to feel like abuse. Peters, Wilson, Jaffe, they're all going to wonder, all right, well, Shore just came out to punish us today. 450. And there is that three bet to 450,000. Wilson and Peters quickly out of the way as Shore extends his chip lead. That's about a third of the chips in play, five handed. Shannon Shore won a 5K in Florida in April. 650 there in August over at Seminole Hard Rock. Again, we go blind versus blind, Shore versus Wilson. These are our two chip leaders, Shannon Shore, 3.4 million. It's about 33% of the chips in play. Brock Wilson, 2.4 million. Just under 50 big blinds in his stack. And with the King Deuce parts here after Shore opened. Plenty good, really, Jeff. I mean, a little bit more than 3x for Shannon Shore with the King-10. He'll mix in plenty of limps with that hand, also a little bit of raise. Wilson will make the call. Queen-7-7, seven, seven, one heart.
the turn sets us up for what is most likely a chop pot Shore leading for 275,000. Call. Olson making the call, almost 1 million in the middle. Another seven on the river. Chop pot if we get to showdown. Ten seconds. Six twenty five. Six hundred twenty five thousand. Shannon opening, hoping he, that he's targeting a queen. Clearly, Jeff, just going to see a chopped pot. And you know what everybody says about those, right? We absolutely <coughs> hate them. The, oh, we, do, we don't like the chopped pot. I don't like a chopped pot. Oh. Do you like a chopped pot? I thought everybody likes them or something. No. No? You've been lied to. Huh, interesting. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> Take one break. You were you were hoping to hear anything but all in. <laughs> well, chop it up and raise the blinds. Thank you. Are we on break or? As you see yeah, on our beautiful right? PokerGo right? studio wall. It's just I don't know. We go up to 30k, 60k. On break. We're they said we're gonna play through this level. Big okay. blind ante. <laughs> Are we at our new level though? Yeah. We're already new. Yeah. Means about 170 bigs on the table. <coughs> it's the A6 of diamonds for Peters, who now has about 30 bigs. and take it for David Peters. It's his 10th Poker Go Tour cash. Poker Go Tour presented by Guaranteed Rate. Looking for his fourth win on the tour. Nobody else has four except for Sean Perry, who has five, and Ali Amshurovich, who has 10. 10, yeah. Ten. You know when he got his 10th, by the way? We covered that entire series, yeah. Super High Rollable Europe. Thought the whole series was over yeah. after the bowl, but then all of a sudden, they added two more events that were, of course, not streamed, 
and Ali just won the last event. Won a 50K. Just a 50K no limit event. For another Picks 400K up, or so. Yeah, 400,000 dimes, more points. He was having a horrific series. Yeah. Probably, I don't even know if he made money on the series. No chance. Oh, he won almost 600K, I'm sorry, in that 50K. There you go, 600,000. So it's probably close but, to a yeah, break-even series. He did <laughs> bubble the Super High Roller Bowl Europe. Nice and he was in that one for two Anything bullets. Good? Yeah, That's right. That's a cool right. $500,000. And that bubble was one that'll uh, maybe be talked about for a little while. Trying out for the NFL as a punter. <laughs> the four bet shove by Ali with the ace two suited right into Victor Malinowski's ace king suited as we take a look at the field for event number two. Another 10K no limit. <laughs> Bill Klein out there, Sean Winter, Adam Hendricks. Saw Sam Sabro, Leon Shurovich, Jake Schindler in the field. Daniel Negreanu is here, the Poker Go Cup winner. You know who's not here, which will come of no surprise. I have an idea. That would be Phil Helmuth. Mm, the 15-time yep. World Series of 15 Poker Bracelet. 15-time World Series of Poker Bracelet. He's been challenged by everybody to come play these high rollers. Says, Says he's, he's gonna going to do to. it. Never does it. Never, never he might shows. play one event a series. Max late reg. Perhaps he really just doesn't feel compelled to have to prove it to the world that he can beat high rollers. I don't blame him. Relax. Enjoy your... Pop tarts and your Bitcoin latinum. Your Bitcoin latinums and your Sour Patch Kids. All the snacks oh. you can handle. Your club sandwiches. Oh, so much food. And just collect bracelets. Yeah. De Stefano just calling here on the button with Ace Queen. Hands up. It's ten seven deuce with one diamond. Fifty. Sure, betting a sizable two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, just on a pure bluff, as we can see, leveraging, applying maximum pressure as the chip leader. Putting De Stefano in a tough spot, who is not going anywhere, though, making the call. Yeah, kudos to De Stefano, just ace queen high off of an awkward stack size. Nine of diamonds on the turn, flush draw now for sure. This sort of turned equity could really now open the door for sure to try and get a semi bluff through, picking up that flush draw. 900,000 in the middle. Destefano with only 1.1 in his stack. All in? All of it. <laughs> Just Beautiful. a snap fold by Destefano. Like you said, door was open. Shore took advantage of the opportunity. Fired off. Now up to almost 4 million in chips. Shannon Shore almost $9 million. Career live tournament earnings. Lives in Vegas, studying engineering at the University of Alabama. Mentioned it. Yeah, I know. Manjaro, as we looked at his bio board presented by the Hennemann. Yeah. Uh, you ever summited anything? Certainly not Kilimanjaro. No. Yeah. Me neither. I know that'll surprise you. There's that you. hill by your house, though. You I've been to, to the get top, on top of that. Of. Yeah. About 100 feet high. Maybe I'll see if Shannon wants to join me for that. I think he'll be able to handle it. Big Alabama football fan. Yes, he is. 
Must be tough. Just winning season after winning season after winning season. It's got to get old, right? You're right. Just smashing Miami in the opening weekend. Another look at event number two. Negranu, Dylan Lindy, Jake Daniels. Steven Chidwick has made his way back to the Poker Go studio. Schindler Savro, Kerry Katz, and the Poker Hall of Famer. And now nine time World Series of Poker Bracelet winner, Eric Seidel is in the mix. Final five, guaranteed $65,600. Pay jump of 15.4K from fifth to fourth. Up top in this one, $205,000. Again, blind versus blind. Again, Shore versus Wilson. And again, two pretty good hands. And again, Shore kicking it up a little bit better than 3X, attacking Mr. Wilson. Two hearts. Not very favorable for either player. Shannon without a heart in his hand. Yeah. Certainly would imagine this is range advantage for Mr. Wilson. Going to be calling quite wide. Defending from the big blind with anything reasonable. Checks back. Another five on the turn. What's that? I think it caught up. Stream? Caught up to starting or to now? Because it's, isn't it like an hour delay or something? I thought it was half an hour. That's why I thought everyone got on their phones. That makes more sense. Usually the laser half hour. I think Brock is quite content getting to showdown with Ace 10 high, given that Shannon has shown no interest in this pot. And King high now, Shannon's probably feeling all right with it. Clearly, Brock with the better of it. Once again, another, well, kind of a Boring blind on blind hand. I thought we were going to have right. carnage. You thought I was going to say chop. I think, Jeff. I saw that little smirk No, I was just face. looking for the word that you were going to use to describe this. Yeah. That gets checked down most likely once again. Yeah, I don't see any reason for these guys to bet. Unless Brock just tries to... <laughs> Maybe get another race high to fold from his mindset oh. and get value from King High. He's going to do it. Look at this. Reaching and firing. 175,000. 175, now Shore's curiosity peaked. 10 seconds. This is a great, great bet by Mr. Wilson. Clearly intended as value while also trying to get another ace high to potentially fold. Value being king high, exactly what Shannon Shore has. Shore does find the fold. Wilson up to about 2.5 million. Thank 
Brock thinking to himself, see, you guys all thought I was tight, just trying to get the showdown <laughs> with Asai. How about that? Shows you why this kid is one of the young rising stars in the game on the Poker Go Tour presented by like Guaranteed like Rate. 11 blinders blind. Constant presence on that button, tour. David, or what? <laughs> this is ninth Poker Go Tour cash. I'm just enjoying watching you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, Watching Jeff. me take Peters. 30 seconds every straight. Here for the blind versus blind battle. <laughs> King 10 for sure, King 10 suited. Let's give Wilson everybody King one. 10. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He'll call out on the small blind. Oh. Ace 9 for DeStefanos. With about 15 bigs behind. Stefano has only seen Shannon Shore show down premium hands in these particular spots when he eliminated John Reardon. Ace nine has got to be on the cusp. Might be good enough to just go with it. Oh, and That's it exactly is. what he does. How much is it? About 16 and a half bigs. Yeah, I don't think that Mr. Wilson really has any intent calling here, but the kid continues to surprise me. Maybe Destefano is a wild child and has been extremely aggressive leading up to this final table, things that we are unaware of, Jeff. I don't think you're that strong. But who knows? Destefano, back up to about 1.3 million. 94K in career live tournament earnings, but we get the sense that his experience level is a little higher than that number may dictate. Thank you guys for joining us on our Poker Go YouTube channel. Jeff and I are in the chat doing a little moderating as well. It's a tough job. It is tough, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we have moderators oh, besides yeah. us? Oh, I think so. You sure? I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I, I hope so. We appreciate the back and forth. Little Absolutely. Sparked a little conversation about Phil Helmuth being able to beat high rollers. Love having you guys hang out with us. Let us know where you're tuning in from as well. What part of the world? You know, we have an international audience for these events and we greatly appreciate sort of like one each and every one of you tuning in. <laughs> Check us out on Poker Go rest of the way for this series. And we'll pop up on YouTube here and there. Yeah, I believe right now the plan is event one and then event eight. Could be a change of plans along the way, who knows? Please like and subscribe the page. The more likes we see, the engagement, obviously that means that you guys want more of this sort of content. Let us know. these responses. My goodness, Jeff. Boca Raton, Finland, UK, Lebanon, Ohio. I know where that is. 
<laughs> England, New Zealand. Texas, Jeff. That's there we go. Your neck of the the woods. great state of Texas. Staten Island. San Francisco, Toronto, Belgium, Ireland. You were just in Texas. Yes, sir. How was it? It was great. Anything was special great, we should know about? No, just some quality time with the fam. Well, from Jaffe. Yeah, crafty little just maneuvering. Queen eye with that queen of diamonds. Also another blind on blind situation yeah. where players are a little bit more uncapped, able to represent various textures. Jaffe taking advantage of that position. That sort of board. Pouncing on the smaller down bet by Destefano. Thirty K, sixty K, and sixty K big blind ante. Forty minute levels in this one. Starting stack of one hundred twenty five thousand. They play late into the evening, into the early morning, in fact, on day one to get down to our final table of seven. Play last night wrapped up with the elimination of Sean Perry out in eight for about thirty three K. You had to be disappointed with that one. I was. I love seeing Sean Perry at our final tables. Just makes for a very chatty final table. Right. Never a dull moment. <laughs> Has he guaranteed victory yet for the Poker Masters? I'm sure he did yesterday. Oh, multiple times. Yeah. yeah. He's already tried on the jacket. <laughs> Probably tried to walk out of here with it. Probably so. Trying to eat your microphone, <laughs> Jeff? <laughs> that that you, wasn't me. You need a little snack? Uh, I'm good. Let's watch Peters come with a little aggression here with the ace eight in position. Again, a pesky blind on blind battle with somewhat awkward stacks. Peters around 28 ish bigs, and Jaffe just over 20. Giving Jaffe the not so fast, my friend. The 2019 U.S. Poker Open champion, the 2021 U.S. Poker Open champion. Second place finish at the Super High Roller Series 100K in Northern Cyprus. Followed that up with a final table appearance at Super High Roller Bowl Europe. Sixth on the all-time money list, closing in quickly on Dan Smith and Eric Seidel for fifth and fourth, respectively. And Peters puts in the volume as well. Yeah. It doesn't miss a stop. Dan Smith, you'll see him sporadically here and there. Seidel eh, showed up for a couple of and the international events. He's here now he's playing in the, the Masters. Background. So he will not, uh, as you say, go quietly into the night. Timing a little bit off here. Sure will three bet to 380,000. Entirely about trying to apply a ton of pressure against Jaffe's button open. Not believing that Jaffe necessarily has a hand that he can go with. Has plenty of raise folds pre. Obviously now, not one of those times. Jaffe is thrilled. Bonus bucks. Oh. 
<clears throat> a nice pickup for Jonathan Jaffe. I applaud the effort by Shore Absolutely. taking a hand like Jack Seven and saying, you know what? Rather than calling, let me just three bet against Jaffe. Put some real pressure on him with about a fifteen thousand dollar pay jump looming, sixteen thousand. Look at Jonathan Jaffe's bio board. It is presented by the Hendon Mob. Do we have to call him out for the lack of bracelets? I feel like <laughs> that's, on. you know what, that's intentional. <laughs> I think that's kind of uh, maybe production getting him back for his dolphin trainer oh, video yeah, years back in the World Series. Saying, see, buddy, you still don't have any bracelets, and <laughs> we owed you one. He control us, we control him, yeah. yeah. Who, who is nice enough to give you those? does have two fourth place yeah. finishes on his World Series of Poker man. resume. He does, and I think he's got some WPT, fun, maybe even there. some titles, if yeah, I remember correctly. Yeah, one WPT read, Montreal yeah. in 2014. See, rather than put one WPT title up there, we went with the zero <laughs> bracelets. He'll appreciate that one. Okay. Part of the zero bracelet club. Game recognized game. Guess what? Another blind versus blind battle featuring Shannon Shore oh. and Brock Wilson. There, it is, you know, it's an interesting list if you look at and think about how many of the great players there are that don't have bracelets. And I'll start with, we've mentioned Dan Smith already on this broadcast. Yeah. $37 million in career earnings, zero bracelets. Wow. El Jefe, Kerry Katz, he's got up, was he around $40 million now in career earnings? He does not have a bracelet. 40 would, I mean, put him above Dan Smith. Well, I'm not putting those in order of earnings. I'm just guessing. I'm just saying I know that they have roughly that amount in career earnings and they don't have bracelets. I got gotcha. you. Carrie is 33. It's 33 on the all-time okay. money list. There you go. Isaac Haxton, another one that comes mm -hmm. to mind. Jake Schindler. Here's another one I guarantee that you know. The tractor, Christoph Vogelsang. D clearly well, he does doesn't not, win anything. Yeah, right. He does <laughs> not have a bracelet. In fact, he's only got two career titles. Which is still absurd right. to think about. One of them, of course, being a super high roller bowl ring. Back to work for Shannon Shore out of Alabama. And there is a look, the purple jacket. That is awarded along with $50,000 to the series winner. Whoever has the most points at the end of 12 events wins the jacket, wins the 50K. 205 points for first place in this event. If you want to take that pole position. And Jeff, again, worth noting as far as those bracelets, Shannon Shore also belongs to the Zero Club, considered to be one of the better tournament players across the last decade to have never won one. He got close last time we had the series in 2019, making a final table. Finishing second in the 5K to Daniel Strelitz. Aliam Shervich finished in fourth at that final table and overslept. Showed up late to a World Series final table. And does he How have a rich? bracelet? Don't believe so. Well, I believe the answer is, in fact, no. So the number one player on the Poker Go Tour also okay. with that one. Jason Kuhn is another name up there. Yeah. The list really goes on. Seven 
on the turn, so open enders for both. Wilson leading for 155,000. Stefano makes the call. River brings another deuce. So we got the nine high yeah. versus the nut low. A battle of, well, who wants it more? Wilson the aggressor on the turn, Jeff. I have to imagine it he has to continue to try and tell a story here just with nine high. Oh my gosh, Shut shuts it down. It down and that's the final. You can't check back five high, right? Mr. Wilson, what are you thinking? No shot, right? We're never calling with the nine high. No way. No. Give him that little that little brow, you know. The yeah. Just doesn't seem to be a believer of Destefano ever. Destefano, plenty comfortable here in his first Poker Go Major Tournament final table. About 1.4 million. It's really a pretty tight race. Sure, the fairly significant chip leader. And a pretty significant hand in the form of the King Queen of Hearts. Raise and take it for sure. This is Shore's fifth cash of the Poker Go Tour, presented by Guaranteed Rate. Shannon, the greatest player to ever come from the state of Alabama. For sure. Not even close, right? I don't think so. It's certainly not close on Alabama's all-time money list. C is in first by about $2.7 million over Hoyt Corkins. Hoyt Corkins. Yeah, and then there's a significant drop-off. Whatever happened to Hoyt? Hoyt's last cash in 2019 the monster stack at the series. Oh, all right, so Hoyt, Hoyt was back. Yeah. Last time the series ran. Blind again, Jaffe Limson. Peters checks the ace four. Games Jack ten three with one club. Jeff 
Dusty leading for 90k. <laughs> that does the trick. Yeah, boy, Jeffy is... I guess he's sort of just a nuisance, really. I mean, he get, the way he gets involved, picks his spots, little fights here and there. Obviously, he had the one little spot, you know, the one great moment with Queens against Shore, picking up some bonus ships. But I've been impressed with his blind on blind game, mm. seeing these spots through. About 35% of the chips in play for him, five-handed. Smooth sailing at oh. the shore, huh? Oh, nice. Oh. So, hello. Well done. Stefano. Down at 1-9. And another, there we go. Nine's simply too strong of a hand to just grip, rip, and move all in, electing to min raise off of his 20 ish blind stack. Looking for a little action. Fold the 9-8 wow. off. That is very disciplined by Wilson. 9-8, you would assume, is going to be a call. Flicking in chips to a min raise, perhaps. Nervous. Brock picked up on what Destefano uh, would be just play we opening had the other with. Day, and then it's just like, you know. Reading into a lot of strength. Like six speed. <laughs> 82 entries, a prize pool of $820,000. Shannon came out with fucking swashbuckle, <laughs> and now it's like a full chill, too. <laughs> Shannon, you think you'll do a better away. job of, you know, knocking people out. <laughs> Preferably not me, but I'm going to stack Brock this No, 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 no. <laughs> there was a but. Uh, it's going to be anyone. I have, there's no preference. Oh, baby. Hopefully he knocks himself out. It's like the only one. Jaffe said it a wild pace of play last night. <laughs> and to start today's final table. Giggling already, huh? The eliminations of yeah. Ben Yu and John Reardon. That pace. It's pretty sick that Peter sent the clone out to play today. It slowed down. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. <laughs> Not big enough for him. <laughs> How many clones do you have? I got a few. Yeah. He's in Cabo right now. Yeah. <laughs> still, still in Cyprus. Mm -hmm. oh. What are they used for? Like, is there different? Are they used for different purposes, or? No, a few different. What's that? Poker, some, you know, take care of some <laughs> business, you know. What, whatever needs done. What kind of business is that? <laughs> <laughs> I think we know what kind of business that is. I don't know what kind of business that is. Are they talking about his Speaking clones? What's up, Shannon? They are. I would take I like one. I'd like a, a Texas D. Peters clock. 
Not so not a clone <laughs> of yourself. Out, David Peters. No, I want a clone of him. You want a David Peters. Yeah, and just gotcha. guys got me shaking. Put him Makes over sense. at the Orleans limit game and just turn him loose. <laughs> Seems like a strange place to place your David Peters clone. Guaranteed winner. Yeah. the opportunities would be greater elsewhere. The breaks after this one, right? Yeah. Okay. Man, sure. probably not going to need the full 10, right? Wait, or the production, I guess, might need it, right? Maybe. Event number one of the Poker Masters. I'm sure Shannon makes a lot of people need to use the bathroom. Whatever you want that $1,000 buy-in no limit Texas Hold'em tournament. Event number two, also a 10K no limit. Event three, we switched to Putnam in Omaha for one tourney. Events four and five, back to 10K no limit Hold'em. Wilson opening here with the ace jack. Jaffe out of the way from the small mind. Peters. Says no thanks in the big. Good. Thank you. Short in first. Wilson in second. Jaffe, Peters, DeStefano round out. Final five. Why does everyone look so happy? Diamonds. Uh, Peter's hesitation here certainly makes you wonder that how wide Jaffe's going to be opening those buttons. I think that's why Shannon Shore went for it with the Jack 7 off last time, just understanding that there are so many raised folds that Jaffe should have Action game. on the button, opening off a, a little bit more than 25 big blinds. Shore will defend here with the 8-7. Eight six with two diamonds. The pair of eights in the gutter for sure. King high flush draw for Jaffe. Checks back that flush draw. Turn delivers another six. Let's see what avenue Shannon Shore decides to travel. Middle pair, got shot. Certainly has to feel as if he has the best hand. Ten seconds. Consider betting to deny equity. There it is. Jaffe now 
understanding. Yes, Shore could absolutely have three sixes. Never going to fold a flush draw. 320. Then how? Mr. Raise makes it 320,000. And this is also believable, Jeff. Certainly would have checked back various sixes on that flop. And he's trying to represent exactly this. Three of a kind, however, with just a flush draw. That looks so similar. Call. Call. Shore and Jaffe as Shore makes the call. 990K in this pot. River is a three. Very interesting card. Jaffe makes a pair. However, the backdoor flush draw also comes home. Assuming that Shannon Shore is just going to bluff catch, does Jaffe decide to turn this three into a bluff to represent a backdoor flush? Is that all part of the plan? Decides to check back. <clears throat> and it's more chips headed in the direction of Shannon Shore. More than 40% of the chips in play. Five-handed as we look at the leaderboard. It is presented by Zenny. I wear for everyone. Sure, more than four million. Wilson, the only other one over two. Peters, DeStefano, Jaffe rounding out our top five. Final table coverage continues. We'll send you to some highlights. Stay with us. Just a beautiful, beautiful prize. Still have a little bit of time left at this level. 20K, 40K with a 40K big blind ante underway. And we start with Shannon Shore in the cutoff with King Jack. 100,000. It's off to a quick start. Peters, Wilson, Shore around that 50 big blind mark. Love seeing Shannon Shore at a major final table here inside the studio. Been around a long time. Great success. The World Poker Tour, World Series. I'm really going to wait sure. longer than I play. Now like about this right off the bat, too. Ben Yu. All in, All in and at risk with the ace nine against Shores King Jack. Everyone at the table except for David Pierce is really against Ben Yu here. <laughs> yeah, it should be trade him. It was about an $8,000 pay jump. Pete's is rooting for me. He wants to punish you all longer. <laughs> wow. wow, and how did Brock lay down ace king there? <laughs> <laughs> Reardon's doing our job for us. It's <laughs> great. Here we go right off the bat. King at 9 8. You does have the ace of diamonds, but Shore takes the lead on that flop. They really make you sweat. They do. For now, you needing an ace or a nine. Let's not find it on the turn. Every one of the table is rooting for no ace or nine. Five <laughs> outs, you see him on top of your screen. River's a four. Good game, guys. Yeah. That'll do Enjoy. it for Ben Yu. Oh. Short stay. We well, didn't waste any time. Mr. Yu, he'll hop in event number two, no doubt about it. Decent start. Little payday, yeah. final table. That purple jacket is accompanied by $50,000 in cash. The overall winner of the series in short now with the ace jack of diamonds. This is... <laughs> Ridiculous, four straight hands, here we go. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jesus. The answer to that is yes. Wilson with eights. <laughs> Starts to run through your head, like, okay, is this guy just gonna open every pot? What's going on here? Yesterday, I thought he was kinda tight. Today, just gonna min-raise us to death free. Paul. up to this flop. Shore versus Wilson. This 
0.641 diamond. A couple backdoor draws for sure. Wilson's eights are best. Brock was getting needled a little bit before the final table started in regards to his tight play. You sort of wonder if Shannon is assigning him that sort of range. These middling pocket pairs make a lot of sense. Even a hand as good as ace-queen, I think Brock would consider just flatting pre. I'm sure Shannon will be done with it. We do have the backdoor flush draw. Going to get a fine price. Maybe we peel once. Could we ever show a ridiculous sign of aggression and go for some sort of check raise on this sort of dry texture? He's just going to peel it. Oh. Goes the check call route. Turns the five of spades. Check. Many turn cards to help shore that not being one of them. another four. 370k in the pot as you see on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Brock may be a little concerned about nines, tens, or jacks. Does check back, he'll show down the winner. Yeah, he's gonna be happy to see the sort of holding he was up against. Nice little pot, kick things off. It was back to back in the US Poker Open. Another major tire, took home the Golden Eagle. Just came off of a final table at Super High Roller Bowl Europe. And now here he is with, once again, the chip lead of event number one at the Masters. Won the main event of the Poker Masters in 2018 and the opening event that year as well. Finished 10 points behind yeah, Ali yeah, Amshurovich for the sorry. Purple Jacket. What a race that was. Yeah. Right down to the wire. We talked to him before play. He said that's, that's on his mind, finishing that short of such a prestigious prize. Shore opens here with ace-queen. Jack-10 of diamonds. What Wilson looks down at in the small blind blinds have gone up 25k, 50k, 50k big blind ante. Call. Hard to see, but that's John Reardon. He's got <laughs> his whole face the yeah. hoodie. <laughs> Looks down at Ace A. About 20 bigs. Pretty awkward. To start the hand. Awkward hand, awkward stack sizing. Have to be concerned about the small blind flat. He says the heck with it. I know. <laughs> Extremely aggressive all in. I think because Shannon Shore has opened so many pots at the start of this final table, he thinks that he can slide one through with Ace 8, but Shannon has the goods. All in. All in. Wilson all in. out of the way, and here we go. John Reardon all in and at risk with ace eight Oops. against Shannon Shore's <laughs> ace queen. Maybe. Still five to come. Shore the My favorite. My family's going to tell me I made a mistake. Significant chip <laughs> lead. Not the first time. <laughs> My family would look up Shannon's address. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you go all in with ace eight. I know. He opens. That's eight one. in the window. Mm -hmm. It's eight, seven, five. Shore now looking for a queen. Did I make a mistake, Bob? And oh, turns the queen. Reardon down to two outs. See him on top of your screen. 
Needs an eight to stay alive. Doesn't find it, it's another queen. Yeah. We say good game yeah, to John Reardon. Shannon fucking Shore. <laughs> Out in sixth place for $49,000. Nine, two, four eliminations. <laughs> John Reardon really is. A Put tremendous that stat under your name. player and, and it just looks a, like Shannon Shore. <laughs> Jeff, he didn't seem to say much at the table when we had him around for the U.S. Poker Open, and then he sort of came out of his shell. Yeah, He's yeah, got a no. great personality, <clears throat> and readily admits, like you know, a lot of these guys are better than me. But I'm here to fight. I'm here to compete. I'm here to battle. You know, I hear that a lot from players. That they just seem to say, "Oh yeah, I'm not very good. These guys are all better than me." But it's sort of just remaining humble, right? Yeah. I, I think truly he earlier. believes he's good. So you're gonna call, like and that's his said, way uh, of deflecting, especially when you interview him, Jeff. Or you say people do that in general. <laughs> Might have been the other John. You know another John? Graveyard John. He's not here anymore. Graveyard. As we see Jaffe get busy with it, it reminds me, I think Sean Perry is the only player on the Poker Go Tour that outright says he's the best. <laughs> right. Over and over again. Oh. Perry finished eighth in this tournament for $32,800 on the board at the Poker Masters. King 3-3. Three, three. How about this for Dylan DeStefano? Flops trips. Jaffe flops a dangerous king. Of hearts. Tremendous check back for a variety of reasons. One, we're hidden, well disguised with that king. And that flop, it's, if you're unlucky and you're up against a three, it's sort of a way ahead or way behind scenario. Control your destiny, whether you're up against trips, potentially a flush draw. 300,000. Well, I think Jaffe's thinking, well, I could just pick off a bunch of bluffs, but look at this. Slight over bet here by De Stefano. De Stefano might think, wow, he could check back a lot of those kings for the reasons I mentioned. Goes for max value on the turn. Ten seconds. Jaffe will use a time extension, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. Call. Call. Certainly don't fault him for calling here. Stefano could have some sort of heart combo draw, trying to overbet the turn. Oh, and the river is the ten of hearts. It's three's full for De Stefano. And perhaps a card that will now save Jaffe mm. from losing any more chips in this hand. One liner to a flush. King nine of clubs just shrivels up on this board. Ten seconds. Now the time bank used by De Stefano. It's the 23-year-old's first Poker Go Major final table. really now just deciding, well, would he ever have made this bet with a hand like 4-5 suited that did not contain a heart and now just be forced to go with it on the river? You just, it's not a ton of bluffs out there. 6-5, no heart, 4-5, no heart. Hold. Yeah. Jaffe does let it go. It's good for Peter. And readily admits, like, you know, a lot of these guys are better than me. 
but I'm here to fight, I'm here to compete, I'm here to battle. You know, I hear that a lot from players. That they just seem to say, oh yeah, I'm not very good. These guys are all better than me, but it's sort of just remaining humble, right? I, yeah, I think truly he earlier. believes he's good. You were gonna call, like and that's his said, way uh, of deflecting, especially when you interview him, Jeff. Or you say people do that in general. <laughs> Might have been the other John. You know another John? Graveyard John. He's not here anymore. Graveyard. As we see Jaffe get busy with it, it reminds me, I think Sean Perry is the only player on the Poker Go Tour that outright says he's the best. <laughs> right. Over and over again. Oh. Perry finished eighth in this tournament for $32,800 on the board at the Poker Masters. King 3-3. Three, three. How about this for Dylan DeStefano? Flops trips. Jaffe flops a dangerous king. Of hearts. Tremendous check back for a variety of reasons. One, we're hidden, well disguised with that king. And that flop, it's, if you're unlucky and you're up against a three, it's sort of a way ahead or way behind scenario. Five players remain in the hunt for the title. The first event of the 2021 Poker Masters. Welcome back to Fabulous. Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome back to the Poker Go Studio and back to the final table of event number one of this $10,000 buy. -in. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks. And Brent, look at Shannon Shore, more than 40% of the chips in play five handed. Just relaxed for Shannon, enjoying his time on the shorelines of the chip lead. 41% of the chips in play, looking to take home $205,000 for first place and be the front runner for that beautiful purple jacket. And that look at the payouts presented by Zenny Eyewear for Everyone. Our final five guaranteed $65,600. The blinds have gone up 40K, 80K with an 80K big blind ante, so that means Peters, DeStefano, Jaffe, all under 20 bigs. Wilson at about 25 and sure with Ace Jack. Introduce the Bumblebees, the Yellows, the 100Ks into play. Purple just for 25K, Blues 5K a piece. Raise and take it for Shannon Shore, picking up where he left off. Been a pretty smooth ride for Shore. Busted Ben Yu in seventh, busted John Reardon in sixth. Now it's 4.4 million in chips. Nine, ten of clubs here. All in. All in. Just will go the max pressure route, all of it. Wilson and his king queen out of the way. Same can be said. David, this might shape up like the 250k you were in. King deuce. With or no, the 100k when oh. Arthur just had. Yeah. You you did you did a good laddering job there. I got what? Good laddering job. Oh, ladder, yeah. Yeah, you got to get out of, out of Worked out well. Wilson referencing the 100K at Super High Roller Series Europe. Roder Martirosian had a massive chip lead. Peters worked his way into a heads up battle. Took the chip lead at one point, ended up losing out to the Russian. Hey, dang near won the thing. Thought it was all but over when it was four handed. Peters, so resilient.
Sure now with the King 10 of Hearts. And yeah, let's do it for all of it. Now it's just the Shannon show. This is his first Poker Masters cash. Sounds better if you say Shannon Shore Show. Shannon Shore Show. <laughs> By the Shannon Seashore. Shannon Shore Show. <laughs> Two caches at the here. U.S. Poker Open. <laughs> people. Almost $9 million in career tournament earnings as we take a look. You should just say $2 million. Like, it sounded presented so cool by the Hendon Mob. <laughs> 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 Proud member of the Crimson Tide family. This is fifth Poker Go Tour cash 2021. Poker Go Tour is presented by Guaranteed Rate. Sorry. De Stefano with Ace of Eight with 15 bigs. Jaffe down to about 12. A little bit more than a 16K pay jump from fifth to four. All in. All in. That shove gets through. Dylan DeStefano, 23 years old. He's jumped into third. Yeah, a little further separation now from Jonathan Jaffe, our ultimate short stack. Just so we take a look weeks. at DeStefano's bio board presented by the Hinden Mob. Crypto, NFTs, and a little bit of poker, but we think it's a lot of bit of poker. So let me get yeah. this straight, Jeff. Yeah. Crypto, NFTs, hobbies, and then shows up out of nowhere to play in a $10,000 buy-in. Yep. Poker Masters event number one. Well, you can tell he's new to the game, right? He looks really uncomfortable. No, he looks very comfortable. Look, shuffling <laughs> yeah. chips. He's pretty comfortable. Definitely plays <laughs> a lot of poker. Has a collection of those uh, weird rocks and apes and penguins that everyone's selling out there. Do you have any of those? Precisely zero. Peters has ace-queen here in the small blind. All in. All in. We'll see if Shore wakes up with something here, and he does not. Oh, oh, oh. You big in the NFT landscape? Well, I got to tell you, I at least had one to my name. Mm. And then I sold it. Mm. Well, good run at it. It was a pretty good run. Yeah. yeah. Very experienced. Peter's in the crypto space, otctrade.com. His bio board presented by the Hendon Mall. Four clubs. One point seven back. For sure. Wilson starting the hand. About twenty three banks. Short. Raises small. Wilson looks down at ace eight. Nice adjustment by Shore. Raising for a little bit less than 3x now. Rather than just moving it all in pre with a pretty hand attacking Wilson, trying to take advantage of the situation, he's going to take the lower variance approach. Time extension used by Wilson, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. And also an annoying spot for Wilson, having so many short stacks. Peters, DeStefano, Jaffe, all lesser <laughs> than you. You hate to just stick it in, get called, and be out. And 
Another time bank used. All in. All in. It does go for it all. Wilson getting closer to separating himself from those shorter stacks. Queen Jack. Is that you? <laughs> and that was uh, 160. That was something. That was something. Just an Keep it classy, please. Absolute belch. Yeah. <laughs> Jack the opens. Yeah. 160,000. Peters with the East 10 in the cutoff. Takes a look at Jaffe's stack. Queen for De Stefano. Jaffe now under 10 bigs. De Stefano back into third place. Five players left. Event number one of the 2021 Poker Masters. And this fall, the 2021 World Series of Poker takes center stage. Hundreds of millions of dollars will be on the line across 88 gold bracelet events. You can watch live WSOP coverage, including the prestigious World Series of Poker main event exclusively on Poker Go. Got the prelims, got the main, got some post limbs. I'm going to be in that next oh. graphic, Jeff, holding up that bracelet. Probably not. For the main event title. Doubt that will happen. Banner hung inside the Rio. Don't think so. But best oh, of luck. Can't wait. So excited for the return of the series. Oh. Oh. Someone just bit it and they all start giggling. <laughs> Jeff here at the eight three of clubs. Now with eight bigs behind. to go. Did we get to the bottom of that belch? I don't believe we did. <laughs> I'd like to know who it was. Leave that for a Brent Hanks investigation. I've got the team on it. Yep. surgical uh-oh he'll meet some resistance here As Wilson looks down at the ace king of hearts starting the hand with 25 bigs
400. 400,000? Small three bet to 400,000. It's Wilson up to about 30 big blinds. About 125 on the table. Zenny, I wear for everyone, one of the presenting sponsors of the Poker Masters. I'll have you know that I'm wearing a pair of Zennies right now. You are. Right they now. look quite sharp. And I have been wearing them since the U.S. Poker Open. Oh. They're my favorite glasses. That's awesome. They look fantastic. This hand looks fantastic. One eighty-five. Wilson raises with the Jack Tennis Spades. King Queen for David Peters in the small blind. There's a pretty significant short stack looming. Jonathan Jaffe. Peter's reaching the non all in three bet off the less than 20 big blind stack. Makes it 460,000. I don't know if this is to simply just three bet call it off in the event that Wilson would ever shove. Or would we ever three bet fold a hand like King Queen? We'll never know. As Wilson quickly folds the Jack 10 suit. You know, in. I saw that like Ace Five offers a Dama, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not a Dama. So. Yeah, Dama just gets the chips in, wins. What a hand! How about that? Peters versus a Dama. It's super high roller bull Europe. Late in day two, Peters opening with the Ace Five offsuit, a Dama. The non all in three bet off a less than 20 big blind stack with the ace five suited. Peters four bet. Adamo with the bluff five bet shove pre. That gets through. <laughs> Adamo, though, ended up being eliminated before the money. Peters worked his way into fifth. Had a real shot at winning it. Check out our Super High Roller Bowl Europe replay on Poker Go. Shore will open again, blind versus blind. He's four diamonds. He just keeps coming after yeah. Mr. Wilson. Every time, Wilson seems to have a hand to fight back. At least play a little defense, C3. All in. All in. And just rips it in there. Quick fold by Shore.
Jaffe now the ace for spades. With about seven bigs. All in. All, All in. of it. I got a good feeling about this hand. I'm not. I haven't looked. There's one for Jaffe, clawing his way back. Never He's in big blind this game. I don't know. How'd you know? I mean, either you shove it in or you don't. As the kids say. She said. <laughs> they get that? Mike, Mike that sensitive? <laughs> we heard it. I hope so. Yep, <laughs> definitely heard Loud it. Loud and clear. You have 700? Stefano look down. King three. All in. All in. Can Jaffe find something here? No. Dylan De Stefano picks up that pot. His second. Cash of the Poker Go Tour presented by Guaranteed Rate. And he tweets, before moving to Vegas, I never knew what day it was. Now I never know what time it is. Well done, by Dylan DeStefano. <laughs> Rock. Follow him on Twitter at Dylan Rock. J. DeStefano. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Listen, I want to stand behind David, too, as much as I can, but... <laughs> How about two queens? Just On the button. Yeah, Destefano all aboard a rocket ship. He's taken off. Even more separation now, inevitably. Between he and Jaffe are too short of stacks. 160. squeezes the four juice of hearts. Just lets it go. A bit disappointing for De Stefano. But it does move into third once again. $65,600 guaranteed to our final five. $16,400 pay jump from fifth to fourth. Up top in this one, $205,000, 205 points. And the race for the purple jacket, along with $58,000 in additional prize money. I just assume that's Sean Perry yelling and clapping in the background, but Has I don't know for sure. Yep. Six is for Jaffe. And I just assume this is going in the middle. Yeah, that'll do the trick. Two quick folds. Jaffe not going anywhere quite yet. Now Brent 
the deuces. Just a no-brainer all in, Jeff. Best hand in the game. No matter the stack size. Jaffe does have about 10 bigs. It all goes into the middle. Wilson with ace nine. Makes the call and here we go. Jonathan Jaffe the one all in and at risk with a pair of twos up against Brock Wilson's ace nine. Big spot here, critical flip. Jaffe on the ropes, nine on the flop. Going to need a deuce, running cards to make a straight. Well, the turn is a five. Uh -huh. A little bit of life deuces for Jonathan Jaffe. Never loses. <laughs> Looking for that deuce or for a four. Can he find it on the river? He cannot. Okay, game, Ace on the river. Game, Say good uh -huh. game to Jonathan Jaffe out in fifth for $65,600. Yeah. You know, probably a little disappointed, but sure. you can't be too upset with fifth place. Came in relatively on the shorter side. Good start for the Poker Master Series, regardless, final table, fifth place. 66 points in the race for the Purple Jacket. That leaves us with four, all guaranteed $82,000. Wilson getting closer and closer to shore for the chip lead. Peters and DeStefano, the two shorter stacks at about 20 bigs. Or with Queen Jack. 160. Yeah. Stefano with the nine seven of clubs. A little defense here. <laughs> Jack okay. four deuce with two diamonds. This flop all shore. Swing and a miss for DeStefano. Um, not sure what hand you're referring to. Shannon Shore's last cash was a win. That was in August at the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open. Won a $2,650 buy-in event. Good for more than 186K. You're a big one. down at Queen Jack again. Opens here Wilson with the ace three of diamonds. button. And David Peters looks down at not just the king of diamonds, but the king of clubs as well. In the big blind, started the hand with 20 bigs.
बचा दें The three men is to 480k. Wilson glancing over at the stack of David Peters. I don't know if Wilson's a believer. He's seen Peters do this so many times with air. Very light three bets off awkward stack sizes. Is there a world in which we're just getting a great price to see a flop? Time bank used for an additional 30 seconds to act. We know these suited wheel hands so valuable in the eyes of these high rollers. On. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh. The four bet shove runs right into the kings of one David Peters, who's about a two to one favorite to double up and move into second place. Three point four million in this pot. And eight five, no help to Wilson. Needing an ace to bust Peters. Turn brings the six of clubs, and Peters has clubs covered. So now two outs for Wilson. Ace of hearts, or the ace of spades. It's the four of diamonds on the river. A double up for David Peters. Not good news for the rest of the field, ladies and gentlemen. And very bad news for Brock Wilson, who had separated himself so well and into second place just behind Shannon Shore, was a non-believer in the David Peters three bet. Absolutely disappointed. There the reaction. He ran right into the Kings. One, five, six, five. Right. No ace five off there. <laughs> <laughs> Mentioned he knows Peters is plenty capable bluffing in that spot. <laughs> there it is. Just so many mind games. These guys watch yeah. all the streams, whether they played in the event or not, just to study their opponents. To take a look at some of the big hands that have happened. This leaderboard is presented by Zenny. I wear for everyone. Shore still on top, but here comes Peters. Wilson and DeStefano now at the bottom. 82K guaranteed to our final your, four. Uh, purple in the front. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Another 16K pay jump from fourth to third. Now, from what I understand, ace deuce through ace five suited is like the new ace king. Jeff. Right, right. And we've certainly seen that. Speaking of ace king. We saw Adamo, five bet bluff shove with the ace five suited. Ali Amshurovich, the four bet shove with the ace deuce suited over in Northern Cyprus at Super High Roller Bowl Europe. I don't really get it. I think it's because it makes a lot of flushes and straights. Every time you're up against kings or ace king, you're 30%. So maybe I do get it, Jeff. You've got an ace in your hand. Less likely for them to have the goods. Yeah, there you go. Simple. Okay, it's easy. I'm going to start doing that in every tournament <laughs> I play. 
Not sure if they would advise that. Probably not. Nine six three, no spades. Got her for sure. Wilson's ace high is best. Yeah, and it's one of those annoying textures. Whenever you have a hand like ace king suited off of this stack size, roughly 20 bigs, the big blind is defended, and then you see a board that completely favors their range. Ten seconds. Check. Wilson does check back. Five on the turn, two-way straight draw for sure. And is the door open for him here? Oh, the door is wide open with a double gutter. You are happily headed down that road. Barrel off turn. Winning so many pots when you do bet here. And in the event that you do get called, you've got outs. 350. Sizable lead from Shore, too, to the tune of 350,000. Getting Wilson in a tough spot. Lays it down. Shannon Shore gets it done to extend his chip lead. The Shannon Shore show, as they say. That's what they say. Well, that's what all the guys said. I, mean, yeah, I was just do. following what they said. Really flows off the tongue. It's collecting so many of those seashells. I mean chips. Ah. <laughs> uh. 1.28 behind. Another raise out of the small bind from shore. And Wilson with the King Jack of Diamonds. here. Comes Queen Jack three. Jackson threes for sure. Just another day at the beach for Shannon Shore. Look at this. Clean living. 135. He'll lead here for 135,000. Wilson in some trouble. Calls here. 760,000 in this pot. Turn brings the eight of clubs. No help to bra. 760 in the middle. Brock Wilson, one million behind. Presence of now two flush draws. 910 gets there. Does Shannon ever consider an overbet all in? Trying all to in. get a cure. There it is, yep. Jeff. That's exactly what happens. Did this a while back with a turn flush draw. Now he's got the goods with two pair. No club or spade in Wilson's hand. Wow. 
does find the fold. Nice lay down by Brock Wilson. Keep his tournament hopes and dreams alive. Shore, back up to more than 4.4 million in chips. Peters in second, DeStefano in third, Wilson now our short stack with about 12 and a half bigs. I have no idea <laughs> the pause. Perhaps the level about to go up, and he wants to give himself as much time on the button the next hand. No, I don't know, Jeff. Oh. I think you're right. Level yeah, is yeah, about yeah. to go up. Is the Stefano? It's two nines. Maybe didn't realize he was in the small blind. Well, the day started with an elimination in the very first hand as we entered the day with seven left and we said goodbye to Ben Yu right off the bat, but always smiling. Of course. As is John Reardon, both vibrant personalities here at our Poker Go studio. Always oh. seem to be in a good mood. Jonathan Jaffe eliminated in fifth for $65,600. And that set the stage for where we are right now. Our final four. The Games Elite take to the felt in the most exclusive tournament of the year when the Super High Roller Bowl returns to Las Vegas. Play begins September 27th for three days of ultra high stakes action. Watch it live exclusively on Poker Go. Now, Brent, what is the buy-in? for that super high roller bowl again? Well, Jeff, just a measly $300,000. Oh, is that all? To play the super oh. high roller bowl. I cannot wait for that Dude, how much event, our Roughly? pinnacle. Uh, like 3.3. Very excited. Check out our bottom line. Showcases Sherry. the Poker Go you Tour know, leaderboard, and it is uh, presented by Guaranteed quite. Rate. Mm -hmm. Liam Shurovich, Sean Perry. Looks like about 4.28. Sam Sovereil, yeah. Kerry Katz. About four something? 4.28. Sean Winter 4 round out the top five as we look about at the leaderboard. <laughs> presented by Zenny. <laughs> I wear for everyone. How good do you Keep run? An eye on number six <laughs> coming right here across the screen. David Peters. Good, Not going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Just the top five on this bottom oh. line. <laughs> oh, baby, close your eyes. But Peters getting closer and closer to Winter for that fifth spot. Oh, sorry. Do, okay. okay. Just coloring up the blue 5K chips. Do I get this? There's yeah, tournament director Paul wow, Campbell. Nice. My hunch is tomorrow on the ticker, mm. David Peters will be there. Oh, nice. Hit. Because we're going to show the top six? No, I think he's going to perhaps get it done today and yeah. jump into the top five. Yeah, but if he wins, he's still in six. I, mean, oh, I thought you said he'd be in fifth. He'd be 17 like points back of fifth. Yeah. I thought you said ahead. Well, I might have well, accidentally said that. Well, let's do the math, Jeff. That. We're going to okay. need to get to the stats department. Okay. Let's run yeah, the let's numbers run the, yeah. and make sure that this is, is accurate. Is stats standing by? 50, 51. believe they are. Yes, they are standing Confirmed. By. Yep. 205 points to the winner. How much do you have? I have 875. 875. 
and uh, heaters. Uh, it's 1,392. Turns out you're right. Yeah, yeah. they just confirmed. Th turns out you are very accurate, Jeff. As the blinds do go up, level 19, 50K, 100K, with a 100K big blind ante. So now just 100 pigs on the table between these four. We are due for some collisions here in this level. and take it for sure. I haven't quite figured it out, but someone's mic is yeah, definitely inside their throat. to Stefano on the button with 16 bigs. Goes for it all, takes it down. I was rooting for a call. <laughs> Me too. I don't know about that. I would have won the hand. Maybe. You have very little faith in me flipping with people. Nah, I guess I, I don't know. I haven't seen you in a flip. We're really just getting introduced. Just tell me what you want me to do. To Come Dylan do DeStefano. Hey, right. I'm here for you. Sounds good to know. Well, buckle up, because this is going to go fast at this point. Hmm. Very a lot, few actually, chips on the table. Nine. Well, now, nine. I, now, I mean, now I have. Okay, so now you have 750. Well, 850. With 850 with the yeah. big blind. Peters, King, Queen of Spades on the button. Time now for Brock Wilson. It's the King Six of Hearts. He says that's defendable off the short stack. And it comes King eight five. Well, it looks appealing to Wilson. Could be quite the disaster. Never count out Mr. Wilson, Jeff. He's got that two pair draw, straight draw to go along with it. Certainly we know this money is about to get in the middle. Peters bets them in. On. And Wilson will again run right into it. Peters, the king, queen, Wilson all in and at risk with the king six. Looking for a six. We're running cards to make a straight. Who are you rooting for? What do you think? I like you a lot, but like, we already <laughs> know David's gonna win. The guy just doesn't run bad. Look at him. We'll see. <laughs> Turn card. 
I'll take a five or an eight. It's the eight. Right, five or an eight. That's fair. You chopped yesterday, but you had the best yeah, chop. I did chop yesterday. Yeah. Five or an eight <laughs> means a chop. Six means the outright win for Wilson. Anything else in his day is done. All right, good game, guys. It's a three on the river. We say good game to Brock Wilson out in fourth for $82,000, 82 points in the race for that purple jacket. Perhaps a sneaky contender here this series. I think so. One of the new kids on the block, Mr. Wilson, might be kicking himself for the shove with the ace three suited against this guy, David Peters. It's now once again in contention for a title in a major. Locked up another podium finish. Okay. Three-handed for event number one. Another ladder for DeStefano, our final three. Guaranteed $98,400. Just saw Jason Kuhn walk into the building. Mr. Kuhn has arrived. Hello. Rare glimpses of Jason Kuhn at the 10K price point. Love to have him out here for this major series competing. I think he just loves the purple jacket. I think so, too. Nick Petrangelo is here as well. Yeah. Jake Schindler, some of these guys who we usually don't see at the 10K buy-in level are here for the Poker Masters, for that coveted purple jacket. Typically have to add another zero to the buy-in right, in order right. to attract Jason Kuhn, but I really do believe he loves playing inside the Poker Go studio, being a part of these majors. Shore limps in here on the button. 10-9, one big blind in this hand, that's to Stefano. Check with the ace five. Hands up. That's ace, ace, eight. For Stefano coming for it right away. Check raised to 250K. Sure. With backdoor straight and flush draws, not going anywhere just yet. Uh-oh. And does turn a nine. Shore was a non-believer by pursuing this hand any further. Now he has walked directly into trouble. Stone dead. Stefano checks. 800K in this pot. And betting 300,000 here. Shannon Shore. Stefano calls. Another eight on the river. Perhaps a card that will ultimately save Check. Shannon. Check. It Who will. Snap checks back. <coughs> A 
And that means that David Peters has moved into the chip lead for the first time since we started play. And DeStefano is now up to 25 big blinds. Chip denominations presented by Nerd Focus, smarter than energy. Purple chips were 25K, those yellow bumblebees 100,000 apiece. About 2.5 for the Ace King for sure. Peters will defend. Four three deuce. Two spades, short as not the king of spades. Checks back, turns the wheel. Peter's not interested. Shore regains the chipley. $98,400 guaranteed to our final three. About a $49,000 pay jump from third to second. Up top in this one, $205,000, 205 points. In the race for the coveted purple jacket, which is awarded to our Poker Masters champion along with $50,000. Stefano with ace 10. Still think Destefano doesn't play uh, a lot of poker, Jeff. <laughs> I'm afraid the jig is up. I believe so. Yeah. 2.7. Thank you. Relatively even, really, anybody's ball game at this point. Well, chip leader being Shannon, 38 big blinds in his stack. David Peters has 37 big blinds in his stack. Now, essentially, they're tied at 37. Just the final 27. Yeah, yeah, you could say that again. Very even. I will say that again, as a matter of fact. As we take a look at this leaderboard, it is presented by Zenny. I wear for everyone. So, relatively even. 
between our three, David Peters, Shannon Shore, and Dylan DeStefano. And exactly even with David Peters and Shannon Shore for that chip lead, $3,750,000. Brock Wilson out in fourth for 82K. Jonathan Jaffe on the board at the Poker Masters. This fifth place finish earns him $65,600. John Reardon, Busto in six, $49,200. Lost Ben Yu on the very first hand of the day. 50K, 100K, 100K, big blind ante, 100 bigs on the table. Another pocket pair for DeStefano. This time it's tens. And just limps in here. Peters with a seven. Makes it 350K. Oh, what a trap here, yeah. pre-flop by DeStefano with two tens. Perhaps fully expected the outright all-in from Peters. Peters now has a chance to get away, assuming that DeStefano is going to move it in here with two tens. All in. All in. And there is that shove. De Stefano eclipses the three million chip mark for the first time today. This is his biggest live tournament cash of his career. Second cash on the PokerGo Tour presented by Guaranteed Rate. His first coming at the Win Millions, finished in 86th over the summer. 94K in live tournament earnings. That number has already been eclipsed by what today's finish will be. Event number two of the Poker Masters going on right now. Another 10K buy in the Ooh. Limit Texas Hold'em tournament. A little live look, Jeff. What do you got for us? Yes, sir. Oh, pretty stacked field. We mentioned the names Nick Petrangelo, Jason Kuhn, Poker Hall of Famer, the nine-time bracelet winner Eric Seidel is in the mix. Okay, we'll get to the good stuff. We have a, a chip leader? We do. I'm not familiar with his name. Perhaps you are. Uh-huh. Todd Hovenden. Todd Hovenden. Todd Hovenden. I'm not familiar with Todd Hovenden, but he's clearly got Todd and chips. Heaps, what? as they would say. <laughs> you ever heard of Todd Heap? Oh, yeah, the tight end. There you go. Yeah. yeah. War number 86, I believe. We've got Todd. A lot of chips. Heaps, Jeff. Yeah. That's good. I mean, it took me a while to get there with it, but I think point. 2% of our audience will appreciate that of reference. Of course, talking to that point, 2%. Yeah. I'm seeing a different report. I don't know where you got your numbers from. Oh, you're saying I need to click the refresh button? I'm thinking maybe <laughs> if you click refresh, you would see that one of the most, I mean, maybe oh. the most beautiful man in poker, Mr. Jeremy Osmus, mm. chip leader, 500,000 in event number two. 
No surprise that Chance Corneth has a big stack in front of him. And how about Jonathan Jaffe? Yeah, right back to work. Yeah, fifth place here today, and he is back to work and fourth place in the, in the standings right now. The Wait, so what about Todd Hovenden? I don't – Hovenden's in seventh. Okay. There he is. He's in the top ten. for sure. The first seven events are at the 10K price point, a mixture of No Limit Hold'em, Pot Limit Omaha, and eight game mix tournaments. Events eight through 10 are 25Ks, two No Limits, one PLO, event 11, a 50K No Limit, and event 12, a $100,000 buy-in. Our main event, De Stefano turns a seven. Bless you. River delivers another seven. A little destiny for Destefano. That was good. Check. How much does he look for here? 300K in the pot. The over bet here, betting 450,000. This is pretty pulled. I mean, it, we do that with an ace maybe to try and get called knowing it's good, a flop straight. Looks like running sevens have come home. Ten seconds. Question is, would Destefano do this with absolutely nothing? Which is all that Shannon Shore es cool. essentially beats. He's going to make the call. And we have a new chip leader. It's Dylan Destefano. Shore moves from first to third. All three of our final three of it's at some point had the chip lead. Yeah, and you know, these guys played all of day one together leading up to the final table. Clearly, Shannon Shore had a lot of intel on Destefano, knowing that he is oh so capable of overbetting in those spots with bluffs. Back and forth we go. Oh, sorry. I need to move back over here. I keep forgetting. <clears throat> You can blame David for that one, though. To get good hand strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Not a secret anymore. Simple. Yeah, yeah. Simple. it's yeah. a simple game. When you like got it, it, just bet big. Right. When you don't, just bet small. You know? yeah. Or don't bet. Yeah, yeah, because you usually don't. Yeah, usually don't bet. You're not a better. Well, if you <laughs> don't, if you have a bad hand, no. Oh, okay. Wait for the good hand. I know you seem like a gambler. Finally, some insight into the strategy of David Peters. Who has a pair of fours here?
I'm saying. Short checks. And does flop a five. Got shot to go along with this pair. About three fives for Shannon Shore. Yeah, the old just in case. <laughs> I was up against a nine or a ten, somehow a king. Yep. This is another one of those sort of slippery little river spots where Clearly, Shore's going to bet. And Peters will have a decision to make with two fours, thinking, all right, well, five, king, nothing. There's the over bet that yeah. we just saw a moment ago. This time, 600K into 300K. Almost identical situation. Peters, just too good. Says, you, you got it. You know, you're, if you bluff me, you bluff me. Congratulations. Let's move on. And we will move on with just over 100 bigs on the table. And all three players having more than 30 bigs. There you see it, 82 entries, an $820,000 prize pool. Up top, more than 200K. And event number one of the Poker Masters, one of the most prestigious series in the game. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks. Fired up to be here with you to kick off this series. And the race for the coveted purple jacket. Can I see your stack, please? Shore makes it 325K out of the small bind. Stefano, let's go. The queen four suited. I don't think I would have had it in me. The discipline to oh, fold mm. the queen four suited yeah, in you position. Don't fold that off. Both stacks effectively 30, 35 you, big blinds. You have like three, right? Three something? Uh, a little bit. It's kind of like you had 1.3. 3.3 at the okay, moment. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe I'm just saving face for TV. <laughs> Stefano really didn't seem nervous when we spoke to him before play. Got here about an hour early for his first live stream final table appearance. Just seemed very comfortable, very calm, as he does at this table.
Shore raises Peter's defense. Check. Jack, Jack, 10. Jackson 10s for sure. Go, Dave. Yeah. Looking to be dirty, Dave, here, trying to spike the gutter. Doesn't do it on the turn. on the river, 800k in the pot. Have to imagine that Peters would consider a door being open, given the line going check, check on the turn. Shannon Shore check behind after betting the flop. Could we see another overbet? 250. He'll go the small route. Just delicate, trying to trying to say I have a ten. Snap called by Shore. And Shannon Shore regains the chip lead. And despite the loss, an interesting line there by Peters. Looked like a ten. That's the sizing, little blocker. Shore has held the chip lead throughout most of this final table. Stefano. Plenty of pocket pairs today for him. This being his best of the day in the form of two kings. Unfortunately for him, nothing doing for Peters, nothing doing for sure. This has been one heck of a battle. Mm. All three players essentially still neck and neck. Shore has been so aggressive from the small blind throughout the course of the day. Yeah, uh, that's a great observation. He, I don't know if we've seen one limp where he has made it a little bit better than 3x on the majority of these instances from the small blind. The very beginning of the day, limped in with a couple of ace highs versus Brock Wilson. But since those, it's been all raising. Top pair for both. Stefano with the backdoor flush draw. Oh. 
four on the turn. Shore turns to pair. And all of a sudden, what looked like was going to be a chop pot. Shore has the opportunity to take a sizable chunk of chips from DeStefano. Eight hundred K is the bet on the turn. And just precise sizing. If Destefano does make this call here with top pair, which I fully expect him to do, it sets up an almost perfect mm. river pot sized shove all in. Stefano does indeed make the call. And is in some trouble here. Two point seven million in this pot. Stefano with 2.3 million behind. And another difficult card for De Stefano to get away from. Essentially would be chopping against all queens unless it's queen jack or better. All in. And he'll be faced with the decision for his tournament life here. now for Destefano. You think about the draws that missed. Jack nine, jack eight, combination of backdoor diamond draws that nothing came home. All he can beat is a bluff. But it's top pair, so hard to get away from. Find the fold to hang on. Short bet flop, bet turn. Fires it all in the river. Ten seconds. And wow. DeStefano finds a terrific laydown. <clears throat> a tremendous fold given the nature of this three handed battle. DeStefano, when he sees the replay, Going to be so happy that he went with his gut and his intuition there to get away from top pair. So difficult to do. Shore up to more than five million in chips, more than half of the chips in play, three handed. But De Stefano is still alive.
is doing a little accounting. Mm. Sees the Four. chip stacks. There he goes. Yeah. Says, let me just put you guys to the test with King Queen. Effectively, that's the final 23 big blinds in his stack. David Peters, 27 big blinds in his stack. Short can collect small blind, big blind, and the big blind ante with that King Queen. Well, Poker After Dark is back with a new season featuring today's celebrities and biggest poker stars. Watch Poker After Dark, season 13, exclusively on Poker Go. Good ones going on right yeah. now, Jeff. Helmuth Negrano, they're playing everything in its right place, featuring Nick Wright from Fox Sports oh, 1. Oh, yes, sir. Good stuff. Blinds going up. We've reached level 20. 50K, 125K with a 125,000 big blind ante. with the ace-eight of hearts and the small mind. Oh. <coughs> Comes in off 20 bigs. Checks. We know who he has the four diamonds. We know Peters has a pair of eights. now shores the 6-4. He does have the open ender. Peter's betting 275k short calls. Aces and eights for Peters. Peters leads for 750k. Drags a nice pot. Up to about 3 million. Just 80 bigs on the table here, three handed. Diamonds now for Peters on the button. Two 
queen eight of clubs for sure in the small bind. Short calling. De Stefano. Look down at the king queen in the big blind. This seems like a high five, sort of a layup all in. Given that he is the ultimate short stack. Less than 20 bigs, king queen, very strong hand. Shannon Shore would have to be totally trapping from the small blind. Look at this, just get a call. Peel. Perhaps keeping in those lesser queens, which is exactly what he's up against. Three-handed to this flop. 10-7-3 with one diamond. Everybody basically swings and misses here. Peters does flop the gut shot in the backdoor flush draw. Uh, Peters essentially has the nuts, Jeff. <laughs> Nine makes a straight, backdoor diamonds. Okay. It is a little awkward. I just don't think that David is going to give Destefano a hand as good as king queen. So this texture is a little tricky. We haven't made a pair. It's seemingly likely that someone may have connected a little bit better than us. Peters will check back. Four spades on the turn. Nobody has a spade. Checks around again. Six on the river. Great shot of her final three on the Poker Go Studio wall. None of whom have anything. It, yeah, this is sort of remarkable. Every player having a difficult time putting one another on a hand. Shannon flatted from the small blind and open. Rather than three betting, or folding the queen eight suited. Destefano, for whatever reason, flatted the king queen as the short stack, and Peter's thinking, what is going on here? I wouldn't be surprised if Destefano decides to bet with king queen the best hand because he should have the majority of the fives in this particular spot. And indeed, that's what he does. Don't believe he does. That is four seventy five. Little does he know, he's just betting with the best <laughs> right. hand. Two quick folds. Just a, a bizarre sequence, three handed, given how that played pre flop. I, kudos, by the way, to Destefano for recognizing the sort of situation that he was in, the power being in that spot on the river with King Queen where he should really be the only one in that pot, Jeff, that could have a five. What am I? 50 or 75? 50. And he has shown pretty solid awareness throughout the course of this final table. Okay. 
Ian Peters effectively tied for second. Shore, the chip leader. 275. Peters looks down at not just the ace of spades, but the ace of hearts as well. First time we've seen pocket aces at this entire final table. Three bet to 700K. Oh boy. Shore sort of had that twinkle. If he pulled the trigger <laughs> there, I guarantee you that was not, uh, as the kids would say, GTO. That was going to be straight hood and a disaster at that. David Peters, welcome back to the three million chip club. Shannon Shore remains on top, 4.4 million, and DeStefano still kicking, 2.8 million. And Jeff, it really it is anybody's ball game at this point. I have 3.1. 3.1, and you have like four. King nine for sure in the big after DeStefano open with the King Jack of Diamonds. Shore will defend six six three one diamond. turn. Towards the chop here. Check. Check. The Stefano, Shore, and Peters are final three. Event number one, the 2021 Poker Masters. David Peters won event number one at the 2018 Poker Masters for about $193,000. Finished in second place that year. And the overall leaderboard to one Ali Umshurovich. Finished just 10 points back of Ali after winning event number one and the main. $50K, $125K, $125K, big blind ante. Sure. 
continues yeah. his assault from the small blind. And as he collects a little bit of plastic, Jeff, how about I give you an update? Please. On event number two going on right now, which we will have final table coverage for tomorrow, exclusively on Poker mm -hmm. Go. Up to now 64 entrants before dinner break. So it's on pace to be larger than event number one. The current chip leader. How about the one and only Big Tuna? Oh. Jared Jaffe. Stud pony himself. Stu yeah, yeah, that, that's right, Jeff. And I see Jared, <laughs> and I see Jared in the background on many of these shots getting his yeah, skull massaged. You can't miss that giant bald head of his. <laughs> Sam Saverell, second in chips. Jeremy Osmus, quite the opposite of Jared Jaffe, in third place. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> and that'll come round on. out the uh, the podium of event number two. And we will have that final table coverage tomorrow, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, exclusively on Poker Go. You saw one Daniel Negreanu in the background looking for back-to-back <coughs> -back Poker Go Major Series Championships. Coming off that Poker Go Cup win. Could Saverell, who you see in the background now, next to Jake Schindler, could he go back to back Poker Masters wins? That would be something. Yeah. Ace Deuce of Spades for sure. This could be and trouble for all in. All in. Yeah, he says all of yeah, it. for sure. Uh, does Stefano likely to call with the ace nine three-handed given this dynamic? Does Stefano with 20 bigs? I can't fathom that we're going to raise fold ace nine to the chip leader here. You don't love it? I just think it's good enough to call. Oh, my gosh. And he lays it down wow. relatively quickly, he too. He did. I'm, I'm very surprised with the ace nine. It, Sort of thought we were opening there maybe to induce. He wow. is the shortest stack. Could that purple jacket go to one of these three? Could it go to David Peters, who has a pair of jacks on the button? Queen nine of hearts for De Stefano. And he's just going to run right into the jacks of David Peters. Still 32% equity. It's not over. But the timing never easy. a little off there. Peters in good shape to take a chip lead and a heads up. De Stefano, the one all in and at risk, and it comes King 8 7 with two hearts. Uh huh. See on the bottom left corner of your screen, it's about a flip. De Stefano, for now, looking for a heart or a queen. Does not find it on the turn. 10 outs. See him on top of your screen for Dylan De Stefano to stay alive, or we're down to heads up play, and the river is the seven yeah, of clubs. Yeah. Dylan <coughs> Stefano, valiant effort by the 23-year-old. Good to see him in the mix here at the Poker Go studio. Out in third, $98,400. Oh, Just a young gun, 23 years old, originally from the state of Connecticut, now residing here in Las Vegas. Perhaps he is just getting started on his 
Poker Go Tour campaign. Mm -hmm. Great showing for his first event. Count out the stacks just to be sure, but we know that Peters has them. See us. Take it easy. Yeah, yeah. Dylan said he's going to fire all of the oh. 10Ks at the Poker Masters. So we look forward to oh, seeing him in the mix in event number two. What is happening? <laughs> These two are very good yeah. friends, David Peters and Shannon Shore. Opportunity now to battle. Can take a couple minute break? Yeah, I think they're going to move you around. Mm -hmm. They certainly go back a ways. They will enter a heads up battle for the first title of the 2021 Poker Masters as we take a look. At the leaderboard, it is presented by Zenny. Eyewear for everyone. Peters, an oh so slight lead entering heads up play against Shannon Shore. Dylan DeStefano out in third. Brock Wilson eliminated in fourth. Jonathan Jaffe out in fifth. John Reardon Busto in sixth. Ben Yu out in seven. Heads up with the first place prize of $205,000. When we come back, about a five minute break for our players. Stay with us, you are watching the Poker Masters. We saw Sam Savaro, Leon Shurovich, Jake Schindler in the field, Daniel Negreanu is here. The Poker Go Cup winner. You know who's not here? Which will come of no surprise. I have an idea. That would be Phil Helmuth. Mm, the 15 time yep. World Series of 15 Poker Bracelet. 15 time World Series of Poker Bracelet. He's been challenged by everybody to come play these high rollers. Says, Says he's, he's gonna going do to do it. Never does it. Never, never he shows. might play one event a series. Max Late Reg. Perhaps he really just doesn't feel compelled to have to prove it to the world that he can beat high rollers. I don't blame him. Relax. Enjoy your Pop Tarts. And your Bitcoin Latinum. Your Bitcoin Latinums. And your Sour Patch Kids. All the snacks oh. you can handle. Your club sandwiches. Oh. So much food. And just collect bracelets. Yeah. De Stefano just calling here on the button with Ace Queen. Seven deuce with one diamond. Ten seconds. Two fifty. Two fifty thousand. sizable 250,000 yeah, just on a pure bluff as we can see leveraging applying maximum pressure as the chip leader call. putting De Stefano in a tough spot who is not going anywhere though making the call yeah, kudos to De Stefano just ace queen high off of an awkward stack size nine of diamonds on the turn flush draw now for sure this sort of turned equity could really now open the door for sure to try and get a semi bluff through, picking up that flush draw. 900,000 in the middle. Destefano with only 1.1 in his stack. All in? All of it. <laughs> Just Beautiful. a snap full by Destefano. Like you said, door was open. Shore took advantage of the opportunity. Whoever has the most points at the end of 12 events wins the jacket, wins the 50K. 205 points for first place in this event. If you want to take that pole position. And Jeff, again, worth noting as far as those bracelets, Shannon Shore also belongs to the Zero Club, considered to be one of the better tournament players across the last decade to have never won one. He got close last time we had the series in 2019, making a final table. 
finishing second in the 5K to Daniel Strelitz. Aliam Shurovich finished in fourth at that final table and overslept, showed up late to a World Series final table. And does he How have a rich? bracelet? Don't believe so. Well, I believe the answer is in fact no. So the number one player on the Poker Go Tour also with that one. Jason Kuhn is another name up there. Yeah. The list really goes on. So open enders for both. Wilson leading for one hundred fifty five thousand. Makes the call. River brings another deuce. So we got the nine high. And here we go. Boom, just like well, that. We've only been trying to do this for 10 years. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Shannon Shore versus David Peters for the title of event number one of the Poker Masters. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks. And Brent, you heard Shannon say it. These two. Go way back. Uh, they've known each other for, uh, I want to say, 15 years, dating back to the early online days, and now both Dynamite Live pros. Oh, yeah. Shit, sorry. Okay. Ace Jack 7 to kick things off. 50K, 125K, the 125K big blind ante. I'd say both old school guys, but they've both proven themselves in the new school era. They played even back in your day, Brent. Well, yeah. Long time ago. That's right, 15 years. Maybe wow. not that long. 2008, 2009. Close. You gonna play any poker this year? Well. I'll dabble here and there, okay. Jeff. Yeah. Both Peters and Shore guaranteed $147,600. Winner takes home 205K, 205 points. A race for the purple jacket. Pole position, if you will, after event number one. About 80 bigs on the table. So you see on the top of your screen, we were dead even to start this hand. Oh. Negreanu texting you? I don't think so. Oh, okay, Let me probably not. My, uh, but just guessing yeah. it's a no. No. Okay. No. Best guess was no there. Got her for sure. Okay. We talked about David Peters having a sort of a private group of friends that he has a tendency to talk poker strategy with. He really keeps to himself. 25. Shannon Shore is among that group. These two being such good friends, they do talk a lot of poker. So this is really one of the rare opportunities we see David Peters 
playing up against somebody who perhaps might think a lot like him when it comes to his approach to No Limit Hold'em tournaments. Look at the payouts presented by Zenny Eyewear for everyone. 205K up top. This is Shannon Shore's fifth cash on the Poker Go Tour presented by Guaranteed Rave. The 10th Tour cash for David Peters. Looking for his fourth Poker Go Tour win. Only Sean Perry and Ali Amshurovich have hit that mark. Perry with five wins. Ali Amshurovich with, with 10. Trip tens for sure. Unfortunately for sure, Peters does not seem interested. Sure with the slightly. Shannon Shore's last win came in August at the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open. Won a $2,650 buy-in event for more than 186K. David Peters won a bracelet in July at WSOP Online here in the States, winning me 7,000. 777 dollar high roller. That's the voice of tournament director Paul Campbell sending our event two players off on dinner break. Oh. Five, four, two clubs. Shore flops the flesh draw. Peter sizes up at 600K. Shore with a bit of a powerhouse as far as both flush and straight draw equity. One point two. Oh my two million. Peters will keep coming for it. This time with a one point two million chip bet. Thank you. 
Olin. Wow. There it is. Shannon Shore. Both players with key cards in their hands. Yeah. Shore having a seven, able to rep that. Six, seven. Obviously, Peters had the six in his hand. Both semi-bluffing to an extent, but it's the power of the all-in from this guy. Shannon Shore getting it done. That was a fun one. Shannon Shore 10 and 11 in his career in heads-up play. David Peters 28 and 25. Shore now with ace queen. Check. Just limps in. Peters checks the nine six. Shore inching closer, about a four to one chip lead. At event number one of the Poker Masters. 12 event series, which will award the coveted purple jacket along with $50,000 to our series champion. Shore going to try to pounce here with the 10-5 off. Peters will make the call. call. Pretty amazing, really. Put in 400,000, only 1.8 million behind. Just try and connect and hope. Shore instead the one who connects here. Wow. Got to be a decent feeling when you raise it up with the 10-5 offsuit, get called, but then it comes 10-6-4. It's amazing how things change, right? Shore was intent pre-flop was simply to win it. And then all of a sudden we connect and make top pair. Feel fantastic about the 10-5 offsuit. And you have to feel even better about having such a big chip lead for a great player like David Peters on the quest for the purple jacket. Peters oh so close to that purple jacket in 2018. He certainly remembers that. Finishing 10 points shy of Ali Amshurovich that year. Shore with fives and Peters with less than 15 bigs. Cool. Limpson, it's the nine deuce for Peters. Check 10 6 all clubs, Check. no club for either player. Check. Turn brings another Jack.
125. Shore bet, shore wins. Shore inching closer to his first Poker Go Major tournament win. So it would be his third win in a 10K event. King seven for Peters with 12 bigs. All in. All in. Shev gets through. David Peters currently sixth on the leaderboard for the Poker Go Tour presented by Guaranteed Rate. He stays in sixth no matter what happens today, but could inch very close to Sean Winter in that fifth spot. This time it's Shore with the King Seven and limping in. Check. Peters with nine deuce again. Flop goes check, check. Turn goes check, check. Every little pot counts. Clearly, Peter is here. Unlikely to feel that nine high is good. Checking is essentially just giving up. We've seen enough David Peters to realize he just fights. Now I'm wondering if he even realizes it's on him. <laughs> Three hundred. Reaching, firing. Shannon realizes all of this, by the way. And Peter's taking the allotted amount of time to try and, I don't know, maybe sort of look stronger. Let Shannon think about things for a while. King High would certainly be a heroic call. Ten seconds. And correct. Hello, a time bank. Ten seconds. Does end up laying it down. <coughs> Got to give Shore credit. Yeah, uh, he, he was. Probably very close to calling in that spot. Yeah, it doesn't seem like much of a pot, but everything is oh so critical. I mean, you look at the reality of how many big blinds are in play. There's 81 total. That's it. Yeah. Everything is worthwhile, meaningful. King eight now, four Peters off the 15 big blind stack. Ten 
Six off for sure, checks. All right, Brian, give me one player outside of this final table who you think makes a run at the purple jacket. Can only give me one name. So that was not at that this was not final a part table. of this final table today. Okay. Um, oh, let's see. I mean, the obvious answer is Ali. I'm not going to do that. I'm. Not, you know what? I'm not even going to go anywhere in the top five. Let me expand elsewhere. Okay, I like it. I like it. Let me go with, I believe, your prediction mm. of from Super High Roller Bowl Europe. I'm going to go with David Coleman, young stud from the East Coast, sort of a new kid on the block mm -hmm. in the high roller scene. He is now present. He just hopped in event number two. Okay, okay. So I'm going to go with David Coleman. He got crushed in northern Cyprus. He's got yeah, some work to do. Redemption. Catching up. Redemption. Well, Who you like got that for pick. me? I think, yeah, I got to go with Stephen Chidwick. Oh, really he's going here. out on, I mean, there you go. He's There's, here. See, someone he's was going to go town. chalk. I know yeah. you're going to go chalk. <laughs> we playing or? Is it break or what? And Ali's going to go on to win four tournaments. And we're going to be like, why didn't we yeah. just pick Ali? Stopped. Who has 10. <clears throat> Wins on the Poker Go Tour presented by Guaranteed Rate. Nobody else has more than five. So it looks like they're going to deal and there's no clock. Paul. The clock ran out to end the level, but yet we're still playing? Still playing straight through. Well, straight through. Wow, we haven't had a break in yeah, we haven't had a break. two out. We played an extra level without a break. I mean, Hate to break it to him, but they just got a break I mean, 27 minutes break. ago. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Oh, oh yeah. Oh okay. This goes too long. They missed the opportunity right, yeah. to jump into this event number two. <laughs> Okay, next hand we'll raise the blinds. That doesn't seem they ought to be able to get let in if you're Yeah, maybe at a final table, heads up, you should still be able to play. Well, I know you so. still get the reduced rank if uh -huh. you're at the final table. Can't you just pre reg no and, and have your chips in play? Yeah, that's probably what they'll do. Why not? Why can't you register right now and then just not go take a seat until you're done? There's nothing in the rules against that, is there? No. All right, you just calm down over there, okay? We got this all sorted out. Just well, take a deep it, breath. It doesn't seem right if you're no, in contention you're right, for the purple right, jacket. Right. You want to be firing these are your front runners. Yeah. Why wouldn't you be able to play event number two? You're, you're it doesn't right, seem right. right. They'll be able to jump in there. Now I'm all hot and bothered. <laughs> you really are. You got a little upset there. I'm a little angry. <laughs> really never see you get angry. Fantasy football issues sometimes drive you crazy. Yeah, when people don't show up for the <laughs> scheduled draft, <laughs> and then everything is completely screwed. <laughs> well, we know David Peters never goes quietly into the night. So it would be wrong to count him out, despite the fact that he just has 12 bigs. Has your ducks here. All in. Well, that's a winner. You are correct. Undefeated today. Just want to point right. that out. Two, Three two, and oh. two and one. Two and one. Jaffe lost with the deuces. No, I, I, didn't, count, I didn't count that. I counted that as why a win. Why doesn't that count? Because it, it deserved to win. Okay. I'm very angry. It was a huge favorite when he got the chips in with the Of course deuces. it was. Against Ace Nine. Yep. Peter slims in with the Ace Eight of Spades. Shore with the Queen Nine of Spades. Battle of the Shovels. Oh, 
This battle favors David Peters. He does make the call, and here we go. Peters the one at risk, about a 60-40 favorite. With his ace eight of spades up against Shore's queen nine of spades. King seven five, no help to Shore. Picks up a couple backdoor straight draws, but for now looking for a queen or a nine. Turn is a blank. A queen or a nine in this tournament is over. Or else Peters doubles. Seven on the river. It's a brand new ball game once again. Moving on, here we go. Peters texts the family and friends, I doubled, yay! <laughs> that but all the emotion you're gonna get is through a text. Peters up to 30 bigs, less than 70 on the table. As we look at the leaderboard presented by Zenny, I wear for everyone. Sure, still the chip lead, but here comes David Peters. do rarely see our final tables extend into the dinner break. It's weird to have a quiet studio. Yeah, No this background is, uh, noise or event going on. One of the longer final tables I think we've had yeah. at the Master Series. Check. Shore flops an ace. that pot down. Paul, what time does the 10K restart? Can we like finish this after, like later or something? Or do we have any options? Or eh, Probably not. Yeah. five spades for sure. Peters versus Shore, 205 K flip for it. Yeah, true. <clears throat> <laughs> They're just going to flip for it? He <laughs> said worst case. Yeah. That would be pretty sick. We'd be in for that. <laughs> this We're degen enough yeah, to enjoy that. Although, I mean, you know, I, listen, I get it. These guys want to get in there. I'm sure something can be arranged to make yeah. sure that they're accommodated. But for Shannon, this is his, uh, his opportunity to get his first major win as a part of our Poker Go Tour series. 150. And it's, you know, it's kind of fun when you have the opportunity to beat a very good friend. Absolutely. I would love to have the opportunity to just whoop your butt. Which wouldn't be hard. Yes. Yeah. Give me Ooh. a couple of It's not mallets. like you would cherish that accomplishment. Were they oh, I would. Are we?
But that's nice that you implied I'm a very good friend of yours. Thank you for that. Guys, here's the, here's the best I can offer. Here we go. Here's Paul. Oh. Let's fire up the tunes, Jeff. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, let's just play a Hit little the music. Ditty. Yeah. Disco Dave, after all. Cut a rug, shimmy, shake. Nothing to read here, Jeff, but let's just well, look at Shannon. It's a good time, Brent. Yeah. For me to tell you about the World Series of Poker, uh -huh. which takes center stage this fall. Hundreds of millions of dollars will be on the line across 88. 88 gold bracelet events. Watch live World Series coverage, including the prestigious main event exclusively on Poker Go. I'll be on the sidelines for some bracelet events, Brent. Don't mean to brag. Really? Yeah. I don't think I'll be doing anything. No, you are cut out when it comes to the World Series. I do like the music that we have. We look at the leaderboard presented by Zenny Eyewear, about a two to one chip lead for Shannon Shore. 6.7 million for him, about 3.6 for Peters. To Stefano Wilson, Jaffe Reardon, and you round out our final table. Less than 70 bigs on the table. Collision time. Play the that, masters. you know, that guitar, Jeff. Yeah. Little, I know you're not familiar with the, the guitars, well, drums. A little Led Zeppelin. Well, that's not Led Zeppelin. <laughs> All right. Thought we had the rights to. No. I don't think we have the rights okay. to Led Zeppelin. I'll, I'll double that wasn't check. Stairway to Heaven. Well. Uh, I guess not. Shore with sevens. Bumps it up again. Oh. Peter's calls. Seven in the window, King. Seven five. Just making it look easy. A day at the beach for Shannon Shore. Shores bet. A little rain. Draws no interest from Peters. Oh, clouds. A little cloud coverage. It was cloudy. I mean, he bet with a set of sevens. No action. It's like a day on the beach in Seattle. I guess, yeah. A lot of rain in Seattle. A lot of rain there, Jeff. Pretty city, though. Never been. I hear it's, it's great. gorgeous. Yeah. You want to go to the Seattle Kraken game sometime? Seattle the new Kraken. hockey team. Is that team. the hockey team? Mm -hmm. No, I've got enough yeah. here with the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Yeah, you're that, a big that's all hockey the hockey guy, I yeah. can really handle. Put a little taste the net, of the right? Sabres back in Buffalo, but you know they're they're basically borderline pro at this point, I think. Oh, the Sabres is not rough great. Go at it. They them. got this one kid, I think Eichel is a stud. Oh yeah. They still have Dominic Kosick. Yeah, he's their, okay, their goaltender. The yeah, he's yep. sick. Yep. Been going after it for a while. Yeah. A nice career. Yeah. Well. King Queen for sure. Seventy-five. 
just sort of get this vibe that these guys may never stop playing. It, it, this time tomorrow, <laughs> they're gonna still, be, still going. be playing. Yeah. The quest for the jacket. They just want to fight. Almost a 60K difference between second and first. Oh. 57 points difference between first and second. Short wins. See Danny Negreanu there in the background, just texting me again, Jeff. No, probably just not. Sending texting me all you. sorts of messages and asking for advice, strategy, tips. Nope, none of the above. He's got the glass of wine. Dylan De Stefano is in the mix. Seventy-five K, one hundred fifty K with a one hundred fifty thousand big blind ante. Haven't really seen any spots where both players have had decent holdings. Save for the ace-eight suited versus the queen-nine suited when it got all in pre. Now that will be the case throughout most of heads up, but perhaps not all of it. It's just another little clearly designed bluff with queen high to try and fold out exactly that. A king, maybe even ace high. Like lift them. Yeah. Let's fold out the king, the king deuce. First event of our 12 event series. 12 events. 12 events. My goodness. Seven at the 10K price point. Then we ramp it up to $25,000 as the buy in. Then a 50K. Wrap things up with our 100K main event. So you're trying to tell me we're going to do events streaming for 12 days in a row for 12 events of Poker Masters coverage? Days, yes. Wow. Can you handle it? You're good to go. Of course. You're always good yeah. to go, yeah. Sure, with the pair in the open ender.
Peter's the gutter. Down 50. Put Peters away. One of the more difficult tasks in this game. Shots for both. Peter's betting two hundred twenty five thousand. I think I finally figured out how this match can stretch for eternity. Nobody ever makes a hand. <laughs> yeah, well, that And then help. we just, yeah, <laughs> we're just kind of dink and doodle back and forth yeah. in these sorts of spots. The dink and doodle approach. Uh-huh, double gutted now for Shannon Shore. Seven or Jack makes a straight. Five fifty. Five hundred fifty thousand. Peters fires five hundred fifty thousand, drags the pot. <coughs> 2.8 million in chips, approaching that 20 big blinds mark. wonder what the longest heads up match we've had at one of our majors, perhaps excluding the super high roller bowl since those can certainly go on for a while, but does one stand out to you? J so just the heads up match or the yeah, entire Yeah, just when we get down table? to heads up. Okay, the longest heads up, I don't, boy, it's a good question. I don't remember one being this extensive that we're seeing between Peters and Shore. I know we've had some long final tables, but usually heads up is kind of brisk. Yeah. Good question. Can you uh, get to the stats, stats department, department on that? Yeah. They're still working, you think? Yeah, no shot. Yeah, I think stats is done. And sevens for sure. King high for Peters. We're firing 350K.
Maybe an opportunity for Peters to try and come along with a call with King High, but yeah, not in this match, Jeff. Nobody giving it away. No. Nope. Correct fold after correct fold. I think event number two is almost at the final table. <laughs> Should we just stay here? Let's overnight? do it. Yeah, we'll just, just park. I brought a pillow. That's nice. Yeah. I meant stay here like Did at Aria. Did you bring your blankie? I just meant stay at a hotel room at Aria. That's. Oh, gotcha. Uh, I don't think like they have any availability. In the booth. Yeah. Certainly can't afford it. No, that's true. Uh, Shore bumps it up. Twenty-five more. Hmm? Four seventy-five. Mm. Peters does make the call. One point one million in the middle. Got shot for Peters. Still Can Doyle for, for sure. sure. Yeah. Short Jackson and Peters will come after it and get the job done with just eight high. I'll tell you what's very helpful, Jeff, to get us through these lengthy streams. That would be a fantastic think drink called Nerd Focus. Nerd Focus. Have you ever heard of it? Smarter than energy? Smarter than energy, yeah. Sugar-free is my favorite. Yeah, same here. If you wanted to get 20% off of Nerd Focus, you could simply oh. go to their website, uh -huh. use promotional code POKER, and get 20% off of your Just order. Just like Did that. Did you know that? Just like What's that. What's the promo code? POKER. The promo code is POKER? That's it. Just type it in. And you just get 20% 20 20 off? 20% off, Jeff. On nerdfocus.com? That's right. I'm going to have a little sip energy. right now. Yeah. Me too. Mm-hmm. No pair here for either player, again. <laughs> right. <laughs> down the wrong pipe for you? No, it goes down smooth. Mm. Seven on the turn, open ender for Peters. Gutter for sure. Peters bets, Peters wins. I've gotten used to saying that over the course of 2021. Three Poker Go Tour titles, all at the 2021 U.S. Poker Open, which he did win.
Eights for Peters, fours for sure. 150. Flush draw for Peters to go along with the eight, 750K in the pot. $10,000 buy-in, 82 entries. Create a prize pool of $820,000. Great math. Well, thank you, it's easy at this price point. When we get to that 25K level, I'll leave the math up to you, of course. Well, that's a slippery slope as well. Be six for Peters on the button. Shore flops a seven. Okay. Open ender for Peters. Shore fires them in. Peters makes the call. Shore stands still best. Shannon Shore, more than $8.7 million in career live tournament earnings. Won two tournaments in Florida this year. 
10 and 11 lifetime heads up. David Peters is looking for his 29th career title. All in. All in. Goes Rip City with the ace four. Brent, we did eclipse the size of the event one field in event two, 85 entries. Yeah, I, it's going to be, lo well, that's right. Is that bigger? Yeah, that is already bigger. Yeah. 82 in event one. That's a great turnout for event number two. Okay, so you heard the voice of tournament director Paul Campbell. Registration has been extended for anybody currently at a final table can register up to one level after registration technically closes. That makes sense. Yeah. This is an unusual situation, right. yeah. And you also heard Paul say their chips will be put into play at the beginning of the next level if they are still playing here and still choose to register for event number two, which we know that both these guys plan to do. Oh. King Jack five, two clubs. Shore with a straight flush draw. Well, it's very pretty, Jeff, but we're against not up neighbors. against anything. I Suspect we are one and done for David Peters, doing his best to fight the good fight. Just 10 high. Eight twenty five. Ooh, check raise with that straight flush draw, 825K. Takes it down. Eights for sure. Sure about a two to one lead. Pair of queens and a flush draw for Peters. 150.
takeaway straight draw for Peters. Charm brings another seven. Bets wins, and he's just so tough to get rid of. Yeah, he, you know, a little mosquito. <laughs> Thank you guys on YouTube, by the way, joining us this entire time. What a long final table it has been. Really do appreciate you. We'll be back again tomorrow, however, exclusively on Poker Go, so make sure you get that if you don't have it for the event number two final table. 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern starting time. Sure, this king. 550,000. Call. Exit 550K. Peters calls. 1.25 million in this pot. 8-6-5. Peter's top pair in the open ender. Shore does have the king of clubs. Down bet is to 350k. Peters raises here to 950k. And just horrific texture yeah. for Shannon's hand. Ace King inevitably just has to hit the muck here. Continuing here with Ace King, more than three million in this pot. Four of clubs on the turn. Peters turns the straight. Shore turns the flush draw. Yeah, and I'm just so surprised. Shannon just giving Peters so many bluffs, I suppose. Coming along for the ride with the Ace King. Certainly helps having the club it's a little bit of protection, but you have to imagine, considering how much is in the pot, considering the stack size of David Peters now.
All in. All in. Says all of it. Shore Muxin, and for the first time, heads up. David Peters has the chip lead. And here he comes. Disco Dave. A little shimmy. A little shake. Let's cut a rug, Jeff. Come and on. a little music. The game's elite take to the felt in the most exclusive tournament of the year when the super high roller bowl returns to Las Vegas. Play begins September 27th. It's three days of ultra high stakes action, and you can watch it live exclusively on Poker Go. And that would be a $300,000 buy-in, just, just FYI. That's as big as it gets for our majors, our high rollers. Speaking of big, <laughs> levels going up. 100K, 200K, my goodness. With a 200,000 big blind ante, about 50 bigs on the table. Now it's Peters with the majority of the chips. It's Shore limping in with the King Ten of Diamonds. Peters checks the six deuce off. Ender for sure. Gutter for Peters. Five ball on the river. The straight comes in for D. Peters. Straight, right? Yeah. How in the <coughs> world does that come home? I don't know. We go from open-ended with King 10. And somehow Peters runs home the six high straight. Yep, easy game. Slightly indicative of what we've seen over the last 30 minutes from David Peters. Over the last six months. Over the last two and a half years. <laughs> Peters with eights. Okay. Simpson again. Six turn for a thousand. Shore bumping it up, which is what Peters likes to hear in this spot. best.
Shore leading for 500K. Wow, Peters mucks the eights. Shannon Shore gets it done with just Jack High. We are five hours into this final table. No end in sight. They're just about even, but relatively shallow. Or maybe relatively deep is the way you look at it considering how this heads-up match has progressed. Purple jackets at stake. 2021 Poker Masters. It's awarded to our series champion along with $50,000. Well, we can't have a series champion if we don't even have an event one <laughs> right. champion. Event one's got to end is, for us to have a series this champion. This is the never ending battle. Shores regain the chip lead. He limps in here. Peters looks down at a seven. All in. All in. Goes for an all shore full. Two hundred five k up top. How are we doing on time? Yeah, no what's the, how much time? What, how, how much, much time, time we got? Yeah. How much? 21 minutes. 21 minutes? To the point you make again and, and again and again, no folds pre-flop on the button. Absolutely not. Yeah, great observation. It, you're just getting way too much of a price to limp in with any two cards. Mm -hmm. Great example, 8-3 offsuit right here from David Peters. So, of course, that being said, if you're going to limp 
any two cards, you, you clearly need to remain balanced and also limp your premiums to mix in with your, <laughs> your total garbage. The whole point of limping in, the reason why, because of that big blind ante, the sweetener that's in the middle. One bigs on the table. Shore has 28 of them. Peter's the other 23. Shore with King Deuce. Peters with the goods in the form of two aces. Shore wisely evacuates. Jack for Peters now. Okay. Shore out flops Peters here. Queens and fives now for sure. No spade in either player's hand. Peter's out of the way. Seven five. Okay. Sevens and fives for Peters. Sevens in the gutter for sure. expect Peters to size this one up <laughs> bottom two yeah here it comes a yeah, little texture on this turn diamond Pot draw size bet. other than five four seven four about the least connected hand you could have as far as a pair and gutter is concerned
sure we're not going anywhere. Oh, uh -oh. boy. Sevens and fours for sure. Let's see what sizing now we elect to come with as the one-liner comes home, completing a straight. Peters knows that Short absolutely has a hand that had probably some pair plus additional equity. So this is a, a pretty bad card. The event that it could have improved him to just two pair, perhaps 8-4, 7-4, exactly what Shannon Shore has. Certainly can have plenty of 10 X's as well, where Shannon would just have one pair. So here comes what I think is going to be, yeah, just sort of must call me sizing. Yeah. Call. The snap call by Shore. You'll see the bad news. And you'll see David Peters regain the chip lead. And forth we go. And event number one of the Poker Masters. Purple chips were 25K. Those yellow bumblebees, 100K apiece. Peter's with a pretty one here. in short checks. King, queen, deuce, one spade. Ten of hearts on the turn. Shore leading here after Peters River to five. Peters finds the call. David Peters extends his chip lead. Well, we've seen this before. <laughs> About a two to one chip lead for Peters now. Right. And only 50 big blinds in play. This is astonishing. You know how badly these guys just want to get in there and play event course, number two as well. And it's, it's hard to keep that out of your mindset. Stay focused on the present before you continue your quest for the purple jacket. Okay. These points are so critical in that yeah. race. 57 point difference between first and second. And how many times have we seen it come down to a, a difference of 10 to 20 points in the race? David, David Peters, Peters, exactly. He'd Great know example. that better than anybody, losing in the 2018 Poker Masters by 10 points to El Liam Shurevich. And also winning the 2019 U.S. Poker Open by 10 points over Stephen Chidwick and Sean Winter. That's right. Yeah. The 
the 2019 Poker Masters were not so close. Sam Saverell won that one by 530 points. Almost $1.4 million in earnings for Saverell. So he won the 25K PLO and the 50K main in 2019. This year it's a $100,000 buy a main event. 10 events in 2019, 12 in 2021. So good to be back at the Poker Go studio, bringing back the Poker Masters after a one year absence. Deuce on the turn for Peters. I've been eyeing up that martini in the background for a little while now. <laughs> Surprised I haven't seen you sneak into the shot and take it. Well, I mean, with four olives that are kind of supersized, that's. Now I'm hungry, thirsty. Short firing with the open ender. Peter's not going anywhere. Queen, an interesting ticket. It fills up. Various straights that Shannon Shore is now able to represent. Jack-8 obviously comes home. King-Jack got her. Pair of queens, if you had some sort of straight, also now comes home. Unlikely that Shannon would just bet that sort of one pair holding with Queen-X. With just eight high and a million in the pot, you would have to imagine that Shannon doesn't just give up, but unless we're so concerned about David Peters picking us off on a bluff, maybe we do decide to wave the white flag. Let's see what he decides upon. Clearly thinking things through. Here we go. And you saw that little stare mm -hmm. from Peters, a little glance thinking, all right, well, seven, eight, what else can I beat here with just my pair of twos? Certainly some hands that potentially could have missed. Bear diamonds. Various straights, seven, eight, six, seven. Jack seven. Even maybe the back door sorts like three, four, five, four, perhaps of diamonds. This would be one heck of a call if David Peters can make it. On. Oh my wow. gosh. Oh my gosh. Instead, just turning the deuces into a bluff. David Peters, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. Ops not to make oh. the hero call. Leans, let's bluff instead. Beautiful stuff by our chip leader and perhaps the hottest player on the planet right now. And all of poker, David Peters. Just a magnificent display. Shore down to 11 bigs, looks down at ace queen. Oh. I'm sin. 
Peters with 7 6. Queen, three deuce. Shore bench, shore wins. Peters again texting family and friends. <laughs> you got to see what I just did. <laughs> It was so sick. Look how emotional. He's so full of emotion. A lot of emojis lot of in the text. Oh, yeah. How much time do we have? Paul? How much time do we have? Four minutes. Four minutes. Four We better, uh, what do you think? Should we flip? Um. Ace nine for Peters. I guess let's just play one minute. I don't know. Peter's thinking, let me let me just finish you off real quick. Yeah. And, then, and then it'll be done. <laughs> let me just end it here. All in. All in. Call. Sure, as the ace five of clubs <laughs> and makes the right call, here. and here we go. Oh, this could be it. Peter's in good shape to end this thing right here. Sure, the one all in and at risk. If he could find a win, we'd be back to even. Or with the ace five of clubs. Up against the ace nine for David Peters. 10 10 3 with two clubs. Chop outs available. Flush draw available. Here come the puppy paws. Turn card is the nine of clubs. So the flush out. comes in for sure. Right. Peters could fill up, and if he does. He'll win event number one. He does not. All square. This match may never end. Both players yeah. just want to get in and, and be a part of event number two. <laughs> four, five, I've never seen anything quite four, like this. Flip now. Flip, yeah. yeah. So we'll, we can do an adjusted chop for, what we, for that 5K. We'll do it based on what we have here. Right. Huh? We, we'll just write, note the stacks for what we have for that. Oh, okay. I mean, it's basically the same. Okay, so a bit unprecedented right. at our Poker Go majors, two. but All because. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Could take two hands, two, three, four. Time? They want to get we into event number one, two. Got 5.15 or something? We're effectively declaring this fight a draw. <laughs> our first time in the history yeah, maybe yeah, of poker. Five point one five point one. Yeah, we're declaring this a draw. So right, they can luck. split the money. Okay. About 176k a piece, yeah. but there are still points All at in. stake. So oh. this is for the points. Here and we go. And a 57 point oh. difference between first and second. Which time? So they're all in blind. Peters runs for the hills with the. He has the six deuce. Yeah. Tournament director Paul Campbell says you guys are good to go. Shore has the 10-8. Deuce. <laughs> Peters <laughs> looking for a six or a deuce. 205 points to first, 148 points to second. King on the turn. Can Peters find that six or find that deuce? He cannot. Yeah, I think you They're pretty count. close. Here comes the final count. This will determine to make sure that our champion oh, is, in nine. fact, Shannon Shore. That's what we believe is the outcome. But again, it's a draw as far as the match is concerned. Yeah, However, the points four. towards the purple jacket four. total, if Shannon Shore yeah, four, is the winner, will yeah, go yeah. towards Shannon Shore for first place. Two, three, 45, 49. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. And there it is. Yeah. Quite the ending <laughs> wow. to the Shannon Shore show. <laughs> 205 points, and Brent, he is in pole position.
in the race for the coveted purple jacket. There's a first time for everything, <laughs> a draw. Yeah, and how about and a first major board. title in event number one for Shannon Shore? Welcome aboard, Mr. Shore. David Peters right to the cage to fire off in event number two. And I got a feeling Shannon Shore is going to be right behind him. 10K more into the event. Number two, prize pool. Peters finishing in second officially for 148 points. We wrap it up with a look at our final results. Presented by Zenny, I wear for everyone. Shannon Shore will get credit for the W. Peters in second to Stefano, Wilson, Jaffe Reardon, and you round out the final table. Final thoughts from you, Brent Hanks. Well, it was a match that was simply never going to end. A draw <laughs> had to be declared, Jeff. First time again for everything, and I'm excited to get back for event number two tomorrow. Well, what a way to kick off the 2021 Poker Masters. It ends with a lengthy heads-up match. Shannon Shore comes out on top. He is in first but look out for David Peters, our back-to-back -back U.S. Poker Open champion, going to make a run at that purple jacket. Thanks so much to our crew. Thanks to Brent Hanks. Thanks to you all for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for event number two of the Poker Masters.